Hello, hello, hello. How you guys doing? Are you guys ready for our cookie adventure? Oh my god, I can't wait, guys. I can't wait. <laughs> oh my god. Any fellow cookie enjoyer in the chat? My favorite flavor is right now currently matcha chocolate thing. It's pretty good. Hi. <sighs> hello, hello, hello. Even my hair is fucked up. Hello, guys. Do you guys love cookie? <laughs> Me fellow cookie enjoy in the chat. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Cookie Run Kingdom. Yay or nay? A quick yay or nay, guys. <laughs> I can't. I, I was so shocked. I, I was just shocked when I saw the notice. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. There's another collab? No, I think that's the collab. Yeah, that is the collab. But like, if you look at the Cookie Run Kingdom game, they have some funny looking cookie. Like, they, they look pretty cool, but I, I would love to have a cookie monster, but not a collab with Cookie Run Kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we have a new update during Christmas time and we have a, a cookie monster, a gingerbread monster, cool. I think they look cute and funny. But like as a collab, <laughs> I don't know about that part. I, uh... And then we, we're going to have like the actual monster in the game after the collab and... So the cookie will turn into something else, you know? I wonder what they're going to turn into. Hi. <laughs> Dude, Epic 7 got a uh oh what was that? Some 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 great full metal alchemist or something. <laughs> that sounds so good, right? Like, oh my god, it's a great anime. Imagine a One Piece collab. Oh my god. How much money will I, I spend to max out a full pirate team? That'd be so fun. A ninja collab. Anything, dude. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Ay, yeah. Dude, Luffy would be so funny, right? A bleach collab. Oh my god. But hey, we got Cookie Run Kingdom. Better be excited, guys. Better be super hype. Or else, <laughs> you can't be anything else. Okay? Can't be anything else. Hi. <sighs> but anyway, that's out of the way. We gotta focus on our EU qualifier. Are you guys ready for the last? EU qualifier to find out the last four pro gamers who's going to be joining us in the EU Regional Cup. Who are you guys rooting for in day number three? I am a Livert fan. And I think Timbo is there as well. I'm a Timbo fan too. But who are you guys rooting for? Yeah? What? Who's your favorite... EU gamer Guts Yo gut. I think he stream Every day on Twitch right I think if they Have to collab With a game I think FGO Be fun I think uh, Oh shit Oh no A Dokkan Collab be fun Even with a Shooting game You know like a, a, a random shooter game because I mean it doesn't matter right Summoner has no story or lore so collab with anything like Summoners can literally collab with anything because this game has like no story so they don't have to like fit the narrative into this game they can collab with anything even a random shooter game a Call of Duty collab I'll take it that sounds kind of fun 
<laughs> uh, Cookie Run Kingdom, bro. Final Fantasy, I know, right? Near Automata. Oh my god. I would cream if we have a Near Automata collab. It's crazy. Can you summon us like the summons of lore? Once upon a time, there was a whale. <laughs> and then there's another one and another one. And now it's just a whale and whale. <laughs> Once upon a time, guys, a whale appear in the sky arena. His name was YDCB. <laughs> That's the summoners or lore, to be honest. Monster Hunter. Exactly, dude. There's so many cool things. Cookie Run Kingdom. Hmm. Thinking. Oh, we're back. All right. I, th I think we should be. Oh, I, I, I kind of look like them today. All right. I, I, I kind of look like them. Fuck, they're gone. <laughs> I kind of look like them today. All right, are you guys ready for EU qualifier day number three? Who's finding? Let me check. All right, I don't have to. They're going to show up really, really soon. Are you guys ready, guys? Before we get to the main, the meat and potato of today qualifier, if you can do me a quick favor and smash the like, I would much appreciate it. If you smash the like, maybe we're going to get another collab and not Cookie Run Kingdom. I wish, dude. I'll smash anything. Okay, what? Anyway, today we're going to have a lot of EU gamers trying their very best to get their last ticket in the EU Cup. A lot of strong player guys and many fan favorite as well. Who are you guys rooting for? Look at this. Uh, I'm a Levert fan. I think Niu can bring some cool thing with his Fangian and Juno. I'm definitely a Veli fan. And wait, Timbo's in. Oh my God, <laughs> Timbo's actually in. So hopefully I'll see them. So a lot of expectation is put on Ismo as well because he was in the World Final last year so people expect him to perform but right now who knows yeah who knows nobody knows oh wait i i look like them now all right i'm gonna put myself in i agree with you too yes 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 daddy I look a bit greenish compared to them. They, they look a bit more orange. <laughs> I look kind of greenish. Two pre bad monster per player. I mean, that'd be interesting. I want to see that. I want to see new things in Summoners or New PvP, how, how it can change we, the way we play. That'd be cool. Yeah, look kind of greenish. Can I change my color a little bit? Okay, that's too green. I think this is better, right, guys? Do I look okay? All right, I think we look good. We look good? Yeah? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? It's going to be exciting, guys. It's going to be super exciting because EU, I see that EU is bringing some new meta stuff and I like that a lot. Yeah? Bruh, we are literally having EU qualifier when Genshin Impact is streaming on the biggest update ever. Sad. <laughs> but who cares, right? Summoners are best game ever. Right, guys? Oh my god. So no DBZ collab? I wish, dude. I wish. Alright, this is going to be the first game of today's stream. 
between drunken and cynic. Yeah, collab coming in with new game mode. That'd be very fun. But sometimes so I think probably not going to do that, to be honest. So he he's he's main Gianna and he hate hey gang. Sounds like me. <laughs> All right, Mr. Sinip with Volantis. So we have a Gianna and a Volantis gamer. Let's see who's going to come out on top. I think I need some battle music, right? Do I have something like that? Intense action music. Let me try this. Wow, that's so intense. Oh my god. It's, it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. It's so intense. It's happening. Hello, Tommy. How you doing? All right, we're not even in yet, unfortunately. Are we going in? All right, guys, we're going in. Oh my god, this music is a bit too much, but it's kind of funny. So let's see. pre band Volantis Oliver, as usual. My day is good, Deli. How are you doing? Let's see what's the first week from Drunken. Norma Oliver, Marsha first week for Drunken. So Sinip, we're probably going to go for some water, like Shizuka or Mouse. And maybe a Dominic, but Dominic after sh after seeing a Marsha, it's not exactly the best thing. I've seen so many Dominic die almost instantly fighting the Marsha. So we have Vanessa and Shizuka. Vanessa's making some sort of comeback in the recent matches. There have been quite a couple of Vanessa recently between APAC and EU. Oh. We have Dominic Nana over there. So Drunken is going to go for some sort of damage, high damage, one shot com. Trying to buy some stack for Nana. Let me, ha let me see how Synip's going to prevent that from happening. Maybe with a Wusa and some sort of strip into control unit. It's blurry. Wait, it's actually blurry. Is it blurry, blurry for y'all? I mean, it doesn't look very blurry to me. Is it blurry? Okay. I mean, it looks okay. It's already the highest quality. Let me try to refresh. Still kind of the same. Is it okay? It's all good? I guess. All right. We have Praha Diana. Oh, that water monkey's in a lot of trouble. Definitely in a lot of trouble right there. The Changpang is decent though against the Praha and the Diana. So Sinip needs to bring in... He's gonna... Oh, I haven't seen a Rika in a long time. But is he locking that Rika in though? There's no immunity right now, so maybe that's not a bad idea, to be honest. Not the worst idea, but he's gonna go with a Tomoe. Huh. A decent counter to Diana. And potentially very scary. But Tomoe in this setup? This is the first time for me, too. Very interesting. Who's gonna be the ban here? I look kind of funny. I look a bit greenish for some reason. Anyway, you guys probably don't care. I'm just worrying about some little details. But anyway, we're going into the first match of the day. So, first round, first turn karma going straight into Dominic. Didn't get it. 
<laughs> it's not looking good for Sinep, guys. It's not looking good. No more Diana, no more Changpeng. The monkey has to do the hard carry with the control for this round. Gonna go straight into the Masha here. Masha looking for a target. And now this Tomoe has no debuff to spread. Get a good stun though. Okay, we see a good stun. That's, the, that's not bad. That's a good start. The Pra gonna go for the speed buff. Sleeping only the Tomoe. The skin is really, it's blurry. Guys, I have no idea. It looks, it looks okay to me. I have no idea why. Looks fine. We continue. Ooh, wait, where did that sleep come from? Oh, it's coming from Shizuka. Because the sleep came from Praha. Uh-oh, that invincibility is really good as well. Pairing Shiho and Shizuka is really good because she provides stun and the stronger protection available. And Shizuka can use that for the entire team, which is really amazing. And here is Shiho going absolutely crazy onto this Dominic. Interestingly, this Shiho is actually doing a very good job controlling the entire enemy team. And together with Shizuka, of course. Buying some cool time for the Tomoe. Is that... Is that really the play? What is Tomoe going to do, though? It's going to put that onto the Masha, stopping the skill to potentially stun. Missed the chance to stun. Here's the dodge coming out from Praha. A violent proc as well. Masha probably looking to finish. Oh, missed defense break and lost a lot of HP. But here's the chance for Dominic. Is the Dominic going to survive? Oh my god, the pushback from the Shizuka. And the Dominic's going to go down. Oh, Sinif actually winning this one. Is he? Oh no, no, Tomoe is in a lot of trouble. One stack for Nana right there. Unless the Shiho Violent Proud finished the Masha. Oh, it actually happened. Sinif with the RNG. Finish. No. He didn't go he didn't go for the Masha. Oh, no, no way he stunned that. He put it himself violent? No violent. But wow. The Praha actually gonna be here. And the Praha is gonna do a big fat heal. Missed the Shizuka. Oh, that is just so bad. Oh, the Shiho with the triple stun and the Violent Pro after that as well. And Shizuka has the skill 3 ready. It's going to be a pain for the enemy team. Oh my god, here it is. So much buff for the team. Look at that. Pran's going to go down. Pran's going to go down sooner or later again. He is... Oh my god, she landed on both water unit. That is just too brutal. The fact that she landed on both water unit is really, really lucky. And I, I think that's pretty much it. The, the Shizuka to Moe combo, together with the protection from the Shiho. And the fact that they, he get rid of the Dominic early turn one was very huge. Well done. Well done. Uh, let me try to make it less blurry. Let me try, okay? I'm gonna do... Wait, give me a moment. I hope this will make it less blurry. But I need to see the chat. And then we're gonna... I'm gonna make some adjustment, guys. Bear with me, please. Man, the battle music is like so, so intense. Alright, this is the best option. I'm putting the quality to the highest possible. What the f <laughs> Hold up. Why does this one look so weird? Hey. Okay. Ah. Alright, I think it's a little bit better. It is a little bit better. Okay. I think it should be good now, guys. This is the best I can do, okay? The best I can do so for now. 
All right. Round two between Sinip and a drunken tutu. Let's see. Gianna and Masha Preban. Okay. Gianna Preban. Masha Preban, though. Finally putting, putting some respect on the Masha. So what is Sinip going to do to answer this? First pick, Dominic, because Masha's off the table. Going to go straight into Oliver. So Tudu, if you go Dominic and Nana, you're going to get control so hard because enemy has Volantis, right? He is the... Oh, everyone is going for Vanessa to contest speed now. Vanessa Praha. So he's using Sinip's strategy just now. Okay, okay, I see that. I see that. He's trying, he's trying. And here is the Annabelle and Juno. Annabelle, though. What kind of speed tuning An this Annabelle has? Is is that a very fast Annabelle? Is it a very slow Annabelle? Here's the Chunk on to counter Annabelle and Oliver. But he need kind of another speed lead to contest for this. But I don't think picking Sierra right now is a very good idea. But it is an option. Unless he has a Neftis, of course. Oh, he also has the Tomoe option. Wait, are they swapping a cow or something? They're picking each other unit now. Here's Volantis coming right up. And oh, the Juno is really good against Tomoe as well. I think Sinip Juno pick is just wonderful right now. I think he can go for like a Vert last pick too, which is not a bad option. Because he has follow up heal and protection. He has everything. Sinip team is very, very well balanced. What is Tutu gonna do? Maybe some raw damage would be good about now. And that is the raw damage that he goes with. That is going to be Dominic, last pick from Tudu. And I think that is going to be the Dominic ban as well. It's either Dominic or Chengpeng ban here. Which one? And I think Tudu will probably ban now Juno? No! Ban the Volantis, ban the Chengpeng, Juno stays. And I think this Juno is going to decide the victory. All right, guys, first up belongs to the Praha. Wow, everyone is off wheel except for Oliver. And they are very well speed too. Look at that. There's no gap in between these units. That's crazy. Here's the Juno stunning the Dominic. Very important. Oh, oh putting that on Oliver. It's going to increase his cooldown further and also stop him from using his skill recklessly but this josephine control two unit in one turn and annabelle dropping the heat getting the violent pro as well healing the oliver debuff is this game over the synapse just win right there with two violent proc in a row oh no <laughs> oh no oh no it's not looking too good guys it is not looking too good damage on the praha prize no healing even if she violent proc right now more damage on the Dominic. Oliver still going strong. Resetting the Vanessa as well. Probably. Resetting everyone on the field right now. The Dot's going to take care of the Dominic. No problem at all. And GG. Two Valen proc right off the bat. There's just no way you can deal with that. And Juno's going to take care of the Dominic. Just to make sure. Without Dominic, Toto has lost the main damage output here and Oliver is still going full force no healing from Praha available Annabelle is ready with all her skill as well oh my god the Josephine is still being the the most annoying thing ever and I think that's pretty much it I think that is pretty much it guys Sinif taking the victory sending Tudu home and Tudu journey in SBC is officially done oh my god vanessa still trying to keep this game alive but josephine said no <laughs> josephine annabelle said no it's just too strong it's over gg synip 2-0 moving on to the next round he's one step closer 
to the EU Cup ticket. And that's it. Oh, that was really fast. A bit too fast, though. A little bit too quick, yeah? A little bit too quick. I think I think the team choices, which is also the speed tuning, the Juno move, Annabelle move, Oliver move, it was immediately over. And also the fact that he stunned the Dominic turn one. It left no gap for for Tudu to try to cut in between. It was just too hard. All right, we're moving on to next game very, very soon. Yes, yes, boss. Great point. <laughs> Absolutely agree. Brilliant, brilliant gameplay. So next, we're going to have Raxus and Niyu. Raxus is a strong turn one gamer. Well, Niyu feature the strongest Fangin in Summoner's War. A very good Juno and Wedjet team. But is that going to be enough to take care of Raxus? I don't know. We shall find out. A setup going to be mit meeting Guts the Berserk in the next game. It's going to be a tough one for, for Sinip right there. All right. Raxus and Niyu. Strongest Wind Panda and Summoners. Or let's see if that Wind Panda will perform today. Am I playing Asia Cup? You think? Bro, I'm like a C3 player. Compared to them, I'm more like F3, to be honest. Surprisingly, no LD Nat 5 from Rax right here. Just using a simple tableau and just fast unit in general. And he hates Leo from the look of it. Season 21, rank 25. What a gamer. But I, I think Niu gonna use Leo for sure. I wonder if Rax gonna pre-ban Leo. Neo has a lot of strong LD. Oh my god, Volantis Neftis. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Scary. Volantis Neftis and Wedjet. Man, he's ranked 38 too. His team must be sick in RTA. Because it's so not usual, right? He, he uses a weird team that even the high rank player can't really predict or counter properly. Because it's different compared to the usual. You see Oliver all the time? Don't worry. At least I know Neo is not going to pick Oliver. <laughs> but I know Rax going to pick Oliver, I think. I'm pretty sure about it. Rax is definitely going to go for that quick Oliver. Mm. All right, all right. Now is the second quarter final between Rax and Niyu. What's the pre ban here? Is it going to be Water Ryu and Volantis? I, I think it's going to be Water Ryu and Volantis. Because I would hate to fight Volantis. It's going to be Volantis and Masha. Interesting. But Masha is very good against Juno and Fangin, which are two of Niu most favorite monster. First pick for Rax. Going to go straight into the Dominic because there's no more Masha on the field. Here's the Juno first pick. And Oliver. I was... Oh, I said Niu's not going to pick Oliver. I'm sorry, guys. I lied. I lied. He's picking Oliver, guys. Man is going to use Oliver and nothing's going to stop him. So what is Rex going to do? What is he going to do? He's going to go with a Praha Mo Long. He is actually the turn two gamer. He's going to go for the Wusa. Is he going to take the Fangin? I mean, Fangin is not bad right now. Going to go for Nana because Mo Long one shot can be very scary. 
So having a Nana backup is not a bad idea. So, Rex might need another stripper. Maybe a Changpeng. I think it's gonna go Changpeng and Tableau. Tableau is actually crazy, guys. Going for another turn for free is a pretty good deal. And I think Tableau just fit right in. Neil's gonna go with a healer. He's gonna go with Abelio. No Fang in this time. Abelio into Changpeng Dominic. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but Abelio. Oh, he's gonna ban the Changpeng anyway. All over getting banned now. So Niyu team doesn't exactly have a whole lot of big damage. Meanwhile, Rax has Mo Long Dominic. That's very scary. Here we go. First turn belongs to the Wusa. And right after that, it's gonna be the Praha cutting in between, stripping everything. Not really everything. Gets a violent proc though. But probably not gonna achieve much here. And you can't really one-shot anyone just yet. Will Molong go for the skill 3? Nope, gonna go for the skill 2. Get a big stun on the Wusa. Is the Dominic going in? I mean, because you have to kill something anyway, and Nana's gonna revive anyway. You can't really stop that. Gonna do some damage on Abelio. Do too much damage to the Abelio. Abelio popped the first heal. Here's the Tableau going for skill 3, potentially. Is he going for it? He's not. He's going to go for the slow debuff on the enemy team. And the Nana getting in between, stunning the Molong. Tableau's in a lot of danger right now. But the Prana's going to buy some time with the skill 3. Here comes the Dominic damage coming right up onto the Wusa, doing so much damage. Half HP gone. And they are going to move again to finish off this Wusa. Will Molong go straight into it? I think Molong would go in and then Dominic's gonna finish him when he comes back to life. 48,000 HP. That's a big hit. Molong is actually dying after this. Oh no, that's one stack for the Nana. Easily. But with Juno gonna go, Juno's not gonna finish. Gonna use the Tableau for turn cycling. Stunning the Tableau, very important. And here's Juno keeping the damage pressure onto the Dominic, but is a little bit too slow compared to the Dominic damage pressure on the Juno right here. I think the Juno is probably going to go down. Juno is going to go down. And Dominic's going to violent proc to make sure Juno is going to stay down. And I'm pretty sure Dominic is going to be very strong against these two water unit because he's, he's doing so much damage. Meanwhile, Abelio and Nana is not exactly good at doing damage on to Dominic. And I think it's pretty much over for game one. Tableau's getting a lot of procs here. Pra has to sleep ready. Gonna shut down the Abelio once again with the sleep. Not gonna get it done. But Dominic's gonna make sure that Nana stay down as well. And GG. Rax get the first game. Pre-banning the, the Masha. So that Dominic can get through. It's just a little bit too strong. A little bit too strong right there. And that's it for game one. Figuring out the enemy. Rex slicing through. Hello, Serbo. Alright, so Rex gonna take the first game here. Will he take the next game as well? Always same unit. Boring to see. Dude, this is literally competitive matches it's gonna be the same unit because they are the best unit with they are they are playing for money they're not playing for your enjoyment <laughs> it's the same you can play any competitive game and they're gonna play the same unit if that is the best unit because they are playing for money yeah they, they're not playing to 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 give us ha ha he he moment they're playing to win. Sometimes, some people pick out some weird unit because that is their hidden strategy. But usually, you only work once, unfortunately. Can't work forever. But there's the spare Oliver, but it's still Oliver, right? <laughs> it's still Oliver at the end of the day. There might be Rogue and SWC. 
whether they have the balls to do it or not. All right, Oliver Preban and Fangen Preban. No way. Actually, Fangen Preban. Interesting. He's pre he's pre banning Neo favorite unit. First pick for Neo is is he gonna take the Masha? He's gonna take the Juno. Juno is just his main monster. But I saw the speed. I think this Juno is not exactly very fast, but it hits really hard. And Rack's gonna go with the Praha Dominic. Neo's gonna go for the Volantis. But he needs some sort of follow-up after the Volantis, though. He's using two AoE stripper already. But now he's using an immunity unit. Hmm, I'm not exactly sure about the plan here. He needs some sort of damage follow-up. He has the Masha option, unless Rax take it away from him. Here is the Tetra to counter the, the Volantis. And Rax is going to take the Masha away from Neo as well. So what is going to be new follow-up? It's going to be Neftis for the follow-up. But Neftis has the potential to be banned right here. So he needs something else. And then he would draw the Neftis because he saw Tetra and be like, Nope, no Neftis today for me. Yes, Neftis today for me. Oh, he's using the Dark Striker. Interesting. Interesting. I like to see that. What is going to be the last bit from Rax right here? Ooh, Dark Striker. A Veramos? No way. Veramos countered the Nephthys and Volantis. Pretty, pretty well drafted right there. Banning the Dark Striker. Oh my god. But we get to see Veramos, guys. Will Veramos succeed in countering Volantis and Neftis? We have to wait and see. So here's the Wusa buffing. But that's that buff's gonna get settled by the uh, by the Praha if if the segment failed to stop the Praha. All right. Oh, the Veramos is too fast. No, the Veramos is too fast. Oh my god, it can't. The speed tuning can't be any worse. The Veramos is too fast and the Praha is too slow. It's all oh, the Praha get the violent proc though. Get out of the silence and ready to strip. Is she gonna go for it? She's gonna go for it. Get the strip done, but paid the price. And here's the damage from the. Oh my god, the Dominic. Raxa, look at Dominic, guys. Look at Dominic. One shot, I mean two shot. The, the, the Neftis. Oh my. <laughs> Dominic is so crazy. <laughs> oh my god. And the Volantis gonna go down to the Dominic too. And, and. That, that's it. <laughs> and that's it. It's 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 over. Wow. It Dominic one violent proc immediately shut down Neo, Neftis, and and it's 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 pretty much over. Dominic still one of the strongest unit in the game. <laughs> How to counter Neftis? Just kill her. Cleansing debuff, cringe. Just kill. Simple as that. If that was a pre pre nerf Dominic, that Wusa would be dead already because Dominic would be doing ten thousand damage instead of eight thousand just now. Oh my god, dude! This damage is just absolutely mind blowing. How do you even stop this thing, man? Look at that. That's so much damage. <laughs> He's getting he's getting a the nerf hammer. I'm pretty sure. It has to happen. They have to reduce his damage even further now. Oh my god, Dominic going in, two shotting the Neftis. Rax is moving on to the semi-final, guys. Poor Neo. 
that that Dominic v a l e n Procter and one, which is it's every summoner s o player nightmare nowadays. Seeing Dominic additional turn, just put a pop your unit, and and it's done. It's so sad. Cookie Run Kingdom is gonna counter Dominic, guys. Don't worry, we're gonna have a fire cookie that's gonna show Dominic who's the real boss. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. A fire cookie is gonna murder the Dominic. Okay, I tell you, it's gonna happen. The fire cookie that's gonna happen on twenty twenty six August. It's gonna show Dominic that he is trash. Okay, <laughs> copium, guys. Fire cookie op. I'm waiting for it. I am already expecting the Dominic to be destroyed by the fire cookie. All right, we are going for match number three between Yans a lot. I love this name, and Livert, Sir z a n z a l o t and Sir Livert. Please proceed to the main stage and prepare for combat. Until the fire cookie get banned, Sag. I think the collab unit will not be available for SWC. For at least like a month or something, just to make sure they are balanced and shit, you know. Collab always have, of course, and it's gonna be the LD Nat Five. Hi, <laughs> all right, guys. It is Sir Z Yans a lot. And Sir Livert Fire Cookie deal two hundred percent more damage to Dominic. That's about it. That's the, the entire skill set. Okay. Man, I I want to see Liver just proceeding to the EU Cup, man. I I want to see his weird team. Yeah, his team is so different from everyone else, and I love it. Who who the hell first pick Annabel? Only this mad lad, and he's ranked forty eight. Wait, he's season twenty qualifier. What's his season twenty one though? But he he's just a mad lad, dude. Yeah, a mad lad. Dragon Skymare Beast Monk, and hey, it's Mr. Cookie. Hello, children. It is Mr. Cookie back with you guys for Cookie Sunday. How is everybody doing today? Today we're making some double chocolate chip cookie. Who is ready? Hi, <laughs> sad. Anyway, so y e n s a lot. And livered. What's gonna be the pre-ban? I want to see Annabelle pre-ban, showing some respect to that livered first pick right there. Oh, a chroma pre-ban makes sense. Makes sense. And Kitty and Dashing pre-ban. <laughs> one of the skill name diabetes. Skill one, carbohydrate. <laughs> skill two, overweight. And the cookie just jump into the air, turn turn into something huge and drop down, you know, crazy. All right, Annabelle first pick from Livert. I like that. y a n z a l o t s gonna go for the mouse and Dominic first pick here. Big damage from y a n z a l o t What is Livert gonna do? Triana Vanessa. Is he gonna do that though? He's so special that everybody know his team, but he's still doing it. <laughs> So it's gonna be Vert and Molly, but it's actually kind of effective because Liver doesn't have hard CC or big damage. So Vert Molly become very annoying for him to control. Is he gonna go for the Nora? I like his Nora play. It's pretty cool. I think the Sarion and yeah, the Sarion and this will be really good right now. They are four passive and no immunity. Sarion. 
He's gonna go for Juno. And what's the Dark Thing name? I can't remember. Oh my god, I can't remember. What's what's the name, guys? What's the Dark Thing? I I, I just can't remember. Leona, thank you. Leona Juno. Okay, Yanzalot. Is he gonna go for the the Sarion? Oh, it's gonna be Miying. Interesting. Yo, this 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 match is looking so weird right now. I like that. Miying. Oh wow. You see? When people actually pick something different, the people who always complain about, oh my god, same unit, so boring. They they don't say anything. They don't compliment these players for trying cool things because they only know how to complain. Sad. Anyway, here's Yanzalot going in with a strip stun, maybe. Missed that stun immediately, but still did some good damage. Annabelle is taking a lot of hit right now. Ooh, ooh this Annabelle is almost dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Juno going to go for the stun, maybe. Big stun onto the Dominic. Annabelle dropping some heat on the enemy. Get the counter from the Vert, but... Oh, the violence to the heal as well. The Vert couldn't crit at all, and right now, the slowly buff's gonna hurt a lot. Big damage onto the Dominic. Maybe the Dominic's gonna fall to the Triana damage. Maybe. Oh, not gonna go for the damage. Gonna save it for later. So here's the Vert trying to bring some attack bar back for the team. His Annabelle is not gonna be the target anymore. Juno... Probably gonna focus on the Dominic here. 5k per hit. Holy shit. <laughs> Dominic dying immediately after taking a turn. Wait, what is he reconsidering? He's letting the Vanessa doing the finishing move for more defense break. Trying to land a sleep onto the mouse, but couldn't get it done. Defense break on the Miying. Oh, that's gonna hurt as well. But Miying does so much damage and tank really, really well. Triana should go for the sleep. Get the sleep done on the Mi Ying. Oh my god. Wow. And here's the Juno. How much damage is he going to do on the Vert here? Another 5k per hit? Is it going to be another 5k? Oh my god. That's almost 5k per hit onto the Vert. The Vert's trying to do some damage. Oh, the revenge. That is so much damage. This mouse, even though he's trying to do damage, but he can't kill anyone. Because of Vanessa, Triana is really good against this kind of unit. And the Annabelle keeping things very hard for Yanzalot to move and also to kill. With the heal and the slow, she's being very annoying. Here's the Vanessa defense break on the Mi Ying once again. He can actually focus on the Mi Ying right now. But he's going to go for the Vert, taking a small risk, trying to hit the Vert right there. And... The Vert finally popped the first passive of Livert team. Is Livert gonna go for the sleep? Trying to stop the mouse but couldn't get it done. Juno's gonna drop. And Juno with attack buff is going to... F <laughs> that Juno with attack buff did 4,000 per hit on the Vert without defense break. 4,000 per hit. Holy shit. What kind of... What kind of Juno is that? That thing was so... Crazy. Wow. And here comes Triana. How much damage onto this mouse right here? It's gonna hurt, guys. 10,000 on the mouse. Holy shit. And th this mouse is gonna drop. So everything rely on Mi Ying trying to carry the game right now. Mi Ying is gonna lose the revenge, but take down the Vanessa. Very big damage from Mi Ying. But right now, Mi Ying is all alone and can be slept by this Annabelle. Nope. Oh no, Mi Ying's gonna be the true carry. Mi Ying's gonna take this game and crush it because this revenge gonna hit really hard right now. Oh no, unless she sleep the Mi Ying. Can she sleep the Mi Ying? No sleep. Mi Ying doing so much damage and healing back every single turn. Oh no, 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 no. This Mi Ying's gonna go crazy. No, Mi Ying's gonna get slept right here. Annabelle's gonna dodge the damage, maybe? Dodge the damage. No violent proc. Lucky Annabelle. And... I think Trina has to put up immunity because one defense break, she's dead. Okay. Here's the AoE defense break. I mean, the defense. Oh, if she sleep, this being is over. Oh, the Annabelle gonna get the sleep done on the being. This is so unlucky. 
Oh no, Miying cannot do damage. Can this trainer sleep the Miying? No sleep, but did so much damage onto the Miying right there. Meaning to kill something quickly here. No defense break for the Miying. Oh my god, another sleep again. These two girls are being so good right now. Oh my god, Leopard, no way. What are you doing? Stop. Stop abusing Animal. I'm going to call Panda right now. No way. This Panda is getting absolutely abused by these two women. What is happening? There's no way. There's no... No! Oh my god! She's putting the bear to sleep again! How is this possible? This Annabelle is going absolutely crazy! And Mi Ying is gonna use his last turn, maybe? Oh! Mi Ying is not gonna go down! Mi Ying healed back to full HP! Oh my god! Annabelle sleep again! How is it possible? Oh my god! No way! Mi Ying is not gonna go down just yet! This Annabelle is trying so hard right now, but Mi Ying is not gonna go down just yet! Mi Ying is going absolutely crazy! He survived everything, and he's doing the revenge! Oh no, will this Annabelle go for skill 1 or skill 3? Gonna slow the Mi Ying down, but no defense break! Mi Ying going in! Mi Ying is gonna take the W! Oh my god, so Yan's a lot! Wow, what a game, guys! What a crazy game! Wow, Mi Ying, come back. Let's go. <laughs> that is so crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's no way. Yanzalot, he did the impossible. He destroyed the Triana with one violent proc. The Mi Ying self-heal is insane. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Let's go, Mi Ying. Wow, after so much sleep, Livert couldn't win. After so many sleep in a row. Oh my god, he was so close to winning. He was so close. That buff that increased the damage reduction on Mi Ying clutched the game right there because Mi Ying could have been dead long time ago. Wow. Mi Ying, what a crazy unit. <laughs> Oh, he was so crazy. I love it. I love that game so much. See, we play summoners of a moment like that, guys. For a moment like that. We have to go through all the boring meta matches to get one match that was like that. Yeah? That was a great game right there. Absolutely awesome. We're gonna we're gonna have to tip our head to Sir Yen's a lot, like how he does it in the profile picture right there. We play summons of cookies. That is actually true as well. Just pure fact. Okay. Pure fact. Is Liver gonna ban Mi Ying? <laughs> oh my god. Liver's gonna ban Mi Ying. He's gonna ban Mi Ying. No, he's banning Dominic. And Leona getting banned by Yanzalot right there. <laughs> Imagine if he banned Mi Ying. That'd be so funny. That would be so funny. All right. First pick for Yanzalot. The thing about liver team is that nobody's going to take his unit at all, ever. <laughs> oh, he's using Bovark this time to counter the Riley and the mouse for the damage once again. Maybe he's going to go for the Molong. What is the liver going to do? Vanessa doesn't look really good right now, to be honest with you guys. And Akroma is definitely not good as well into this unit. So what is it going to be for liver? Maybe a Nora. And he's gonna go with a segment right here. And a Kinky. A Kinky into Bover and Mouse. And still two more pick for the Mola and Icarus. Oh. Oh, Livert. What are you doing with that Kinky, though? I'm not exactly sure about the Kinky choice. I think last pick, he needs to pick some sort of Revive or Strip Stun. But... I think Liver doesn't have any strip stun available. He has to go for a revive unit. But it's still gonna be hard though. Oh no. It's gonna be a Balio to kind of between all these damage. But I think it's gonna be a Balio ban right there. It's either a Balio or Sekhmet ban. Because Sekhmet can reset more long turn one. It's gonna be a Balio ban. It's gonna be Bovirk ban. Yanzalot has a speed lead. If Liver missed the reset on either Molong or Icarus. I think this game is over. Like, 
Yanzala's gonna one shot the Annavale and corner day. It's pretty much over. Oh no. If he's stunned, oh, he went for the pushback, but he missed it. But Sakba is very famous for missing as well. I'm worried. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Wait, he didn't kill Annavale? Why is he not killing Annavale? Huh? Wait, you should be killing Annavale. But I don't think Livert has any damage left. That's the problem. Yeah, I, I think it's a huge problem here. He doesn't have any damage left. Right? Oh my god, this his mouse is going absolutely crazy as well. And the segment has no skill available. Unless this Annabelle sleep every unit on the enemy field. Livert has a chance to come back. Only if this Annabelle go absolutely crazy. Yeah, sleeping everybody. She single-handedly carried this game. But even then, okay, even even then, I don't think it's possible. I I think. Oh. Huh? Molong's gone. Wait. But there's a, there's an Oliver. How can Annavel counter Oliver? <laughs> Look at this Oliver. He's just not stopping. Oh, he stopped. Finally. Okay. Is this Annabelle really doing the impossible though? Is this Annabelle really doing it? I have my doubts, but... Is Liver... Oh. If the Miyin can come back? No, just kidding. <laughs> Ikaris has a skill 3 next turn. It's, it's, it's over, guys. It's over. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's done. Molong Eker is too strong. And that's it. Yanzalot's gonna take his victory and proceed to the semi-final. And Levert has to stop his SMBC journey in this round. I think, I think, ah, oh, the drafting. I think picking Kinky into, into some sort of one-shot calm like this was... Definitely not a good idea. Yeah. Yanzalot's gonna move on. Oh, that draft was just... Not the best. Not the best. Alright. We're moving on to the next game, guys. Moving on to the next game very, very soon. We're gonna go four game in a row, have a break, and then four game in a row. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think Kinky was... was a good option right there for sure. It was just kind of strange, to be honest. Kind of strange. Not a fan. Nah, it's just Livert. That, that's just his play style. I think Livert is really good in ladder because people like to go for fast control comm. And Livert countered that really well with his Acroma and Healer comm. But here, people know exactly what he's doing. So they just pick one shot unit and one shot Livert one by one. And he can't really do anything about it, unfortunately. All right, last one between Shen and Catch. Who's going to face Ismu, the Titan from last year's SWC? Let's find out. Shen and Catch. Shen used to be like the strong, one of the stronger Atamiel user. Is he going to bring that back? Atamiel actually carry hard in the in the APAC qualifier just now. But is, is Artemis going to be good enough for this round? I don't know. He used to be like one of the token Ragdoll Artemio user. Uh, 
All right, we have Ragdoll Arta, and then we have Lima Neftis Volantis. So scary. <laughs> what a stack team, guys. Absolutely stack team. Meanwhile, I need to reset my run in R5. Very important as well, guys. Super important. Got to farm for the best run possible for my future cookie team. Am I right, guys? <laughs> I love my cookies and you will too. Let me find some other music. Hmm. All right, Shen and Catch, Ragdoll and Nephthys Preban, pretty standard. Catch first pick is gonna be Oliver. So Shen's gonna go with two fire unit, but not Masha. Actually gonna go for Juno and Segment first pick. Oh, interesting. He's not going with Masha. Does he have Masha? He does, right? I kind of expect everyone to have everything at his rank. We have Lima Masha, and then Shen's going in with the Molong and Shizuka. Huh? I don't know, Shen team doesn't feel very... It doesn't feel like a complete thing to me. I, I don't know. Catch team has strip into control and damage. Very obvious. The team has the formula. Shen team is like, he's trying to answer, he's trying to counter, but his team doesn't feel like it, it create a thing, right? It's like trying to make a smoothie. You can put anything into the smoothie, but sometimes you kind of have to make sense. Shen smoothie doesn't really make sense right now. Last counter pick. I mean, it's a good counter pick and it's probably going to get banned, but would the other unit be okay? Yo, base Inferno with a $20 dono. Thank you so much. All right. Is it going to be the Douglas band though? Ah, I think it has to be the Douglas band. It's too good here. Catch. Probably going to get lose the Masha. Is he going to lose the Masha? No, Masha stay. Masha get banned. Wow. So Catch didn't actually gamble because anything else could get banned. So the Douglas get banned. The Masha get banned. Let's see if Shen plan is a good plan. All right, guys. First pick, first turn belongs to the Sackmet. Is she going to go for the reset onto the Oliver? Or the Changpeng? Going to be Oliver. Who use Sackmet anymore? All right, guys, segment's done. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's just segment being segment, guys. What can you say? Oh, that is a vile Will Lima. Oh, that doesn't count as Gianna. So will this guy go for AoE? I don't think he's going to go for the AoE. He doesn't need to. And I think the two water units are going to get fully controlled by the Changpeng and the Oliver. So the only hope Shen has left is the Juno. That's the only hope he has left. I think at this point, I, I think Catch needs to reset the Juno at least once. So that the Juno will not strip the the Lima um, protection. Because he kind of needs the protection against the Sekhmet right now. Alright, he doesn't give a shit. Maybe he's going to stun the Sekhmet. Miss the stun. So he has a small opportunity for the Juno and Sekhmet to perform really well. Because Catch doesn't have any counter to Juno. That's a good stun. 
Is he going to go for the defense break, though? Because Lima's moving after the segment move. So going for the AoE, AoE thing is not good. He's going to reset the Lima first and then go with the debuff. But in the meantime, Lima's going to do everything she can to kill the Juno. So can this Juno survive? Can this Juno stun the Lima at least once? He need that to happen. Because the Lima is going to cleanse every debuff. This Juno do so much damage though. 2.1k without any speed buff. That's really good. Alright, here's the opportunity. Here's the window for Shen. Good debuff, good defense break. Might be able to utilize this one to kill two unit here if the Juno go crazy. Will this Lima Violent proc? Still big damage onto the Juno, but Juno can kill two unit right now. And she need to do it. Good damage onto the Lima. Is Volantis trying to buy some time maybe? Gonna buy some time for the team, but speed buff for the Juno and healing as well. That was not a very good move, but the Lima finished the Juno anyway. If the Juno with the speed buff lapped the Lima, that could have been the worst move from Catch, but... The Lima was too fast, and uh, GG catch catches the first win. I think giving the Juno the speed buff was not exactly the best thing. Yeah, not exactly the best thing. He didn't really need that, I think. Yeah, he didn't. He he didn't really need that AOE right there. But yeah, it's pretty much over. The moment Juno go down, Shen has no other way to fight catch team and it's pretty much GG moving on to game 2 so would be another 2-0 or will Shen come back with a new strategy here According to YouTube, you're streaming everyone's favorite game, Cookie Run Kingdom. Exactly. <laughs> it is true right there. Oh my god. Do you not know my favorite video game is Cookie Run Kingdom? Oh. Shane gotta try something new, man. He, he, he gotta try to bring out something something new here his team was strange it was just Ju hoping for the Juno to go crazy I think that's about it only the Juno has any opportunity to do anything to the enemy team hmm And he took away Shen only hope right there. Pre-banning the Juno and Oliver getting pre-banned as well. First pick for Shen. Is it going to be Marsha or Dominic? It's going to be Mo Long. He's going a bit old school with the Mo Long first pick here. So what is going to be catch answer? Oh my god. What is a better start than this? Huh? What is a better start than this? Just a casual Nephthys Lima first pick. <laughs> oh my god. Shen is going to go with the Wusa and the Sakmet. She failed last time. She might succeed this time. So catch going to go for another round of strip. Maybe what's a Ryu Chung Pung? It's gonna go for Volantis Nana. <laughs> oh my god, his team is so stacked. I think it might be a segment ban. I think Cash is not gonna gamble against the segment. Ooh, the wedge had finally came to play. So what's gonna be the last pick from Cash here? So this time it might be it might be the Molong ban, potentially. Because he has a lot of strip for the wedge and the Wusa already. So he might let Shen 
go first. Gonna be a Chang Peng last pick. So it looked like it's going to be the segment ban for catch. Or the more, I think it's just gonna be more long ban. The main damage, get it out of the way. And I think Shen has a lot of shit to deal with. Oh, it's gonna be wet Chat ban. I thought catch gonna let him out speed. Like he's out speeding anyway with the segment. But I think catch think the segment is shit. So like he doesn't give a crap about segment. He's gonna let segment move because he knows segment is not gonna do anything. Here's the first of segment once again. Will she land it this time? Finally, she performed. But still, the game is not over yet because the real terror start when the Lima and the Volantis start moving. 12,000 on the Chung Pung. How tanky and what kind of artifact this guy is running. This Wusa is stacked up. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. 12,000. Wow, that's crazy. Lima going in. Can this stop the Praha? It stunned the Praha and provoked the Praha as well. Oh my god. So Chang Peng, is he gonna get the Violin or the Despair Stun that he needs to provide some value to the team? This Praha is in a lot of danger. Yeah? A lot and a lot of danger right here. Because if he stunned the Praha again, no stun on the Praha. So the Praha has the opportunity to heal the team. But I don't know what kind of rune the Chang Peng use. If he's on this span, he stunned the Praha. It's gonna be huge for catch. Here is the all. Here's the Chang Peng taking a turn. Is he gonna go for the Praha? He went in, but didn't achieve anything. Would this Nana stop the Praha from moving? Oh no, the Praha is finally gonna get a turn here. Very important. She's the one keeping the team alive. Potentially sleeping the entire enemy team at the same time as well. Molong gonna go for the strip, maybe? Nope, gonna save it. Gonna go for skill one on the Chang Pang to get the defense break in. And here is the chance for Shen to catch up with the heal and a speed buff for the team. Is the Lima gonna take the speed buff away? Nope, not gonna take the speed buff away. Save it for the Wusa potential immunity coming up really, really soon. But Wusa would not do it because he wants to keep his speed buff. Nope, he is going to do it actually. But how does he plan to stop the Lima strip though? Unless he go for the big stun with skill 2. Is he gonna go for it? He's gonna go for the kill on the Chang Peng first. And here's the segment. He needs to land that reset on the Lima. Dude, there's no immunity. At least land the damn thing. Maybe? Why is Lima not using that skill though? She's scared to wake the, the Pra that used all her skill already? Huh? What was that choice from catch? I would have just stripped right there. Let the Praha move. I think it's gonna be okay. Because now the segment can actually reset. Great reset, dude. Absolutely amazing reset right there. <laughs> Absolutely amazing reset. Oh my god, Shen could have won this game two times already if Segment actually does what she does. Maybe Segment thinks that she's saving the reset so now she can reset and not lose her skill. You see that? She has her skill again. It was actually all planned by Segment. She was only doing damage because right now she can reset and steal two buff and she doesn't lose the skill. She can do it all the time. It was actually a plan by Segment, okay? You guys are laughing. You think you're funny, but it was all planned all along. You see that? The skill's ready again. Big brain Segment right here. Unstoppable. Look at that. Now she learned everything. So that she has the skill all the time. Think, chat, think. <laughs> oh my god, dude. 
the segment saw everything. Okay, she knew that she needed to miss so that she could land. Philosophy. Okay, she had to miss. See, you see that she missed when she killed the lima, so she could do it again. Think, look at Shen. He saw everything in the future. Crazy, absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh my god, this segment. She she she's on another level, guys. You guys don't even know. You guys don't know anything. She's on another level. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. There's another match. I'm sorry. I thought Sh Catch won. It was Shen. Finally, somebody not losing 2-0 today. So who's gonna be moving on to the semifinal to meet Ismu in between these two men? I wonder if Boss actually used the microphone and the headset. Because usually, like, gaming headset has, like, or any headset has shitty microphone. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, though. All right. Last game between Catch and Shen. What is going to be the pre-ban here? What is this music? I'm, like, in some country restaurant. Sakmet, I mean Neftis and Ragdoll Preband catch going in with the Oliver first pick as usual. Shen gonna go for the Sakmet and Juno once again. Oh my god, he's really going for it. Hello Tarek, Tariq. Shane is pronounced like Shine. Huh? How do you read that? Shan, Sh like pain, right? So Shane. I said Shane the entire time. Or like, did I say Shen? Or like Shane? Like Shane Dawson? Like Shane B? <laughs> Is it? I said Shen. So it's more like Shane. Hey Sean, will you take the official commentator role if offered by Comptas? Have you checked out the APAC qualifier? It's pretty good. And I do that. So it's like Shane. Like Shane Dawson. Pronounce it however you want. See, Jason got it, bro. <laughs> Yo, Shane's gonna go with the same team here. But Catch is looking different now. He's going with damage and not just pure control. I'm French and it's just Shen. Wait, you are French and you say that Shen is Shen. It's not Shane. Who's French here? <laughs> you French too? Who's the real French? Some One of you guys must be from Canada, right? <laughs> You're not real French, you're like Canadian. <laughs> oh my god. Who's the real French? Who's the bonjour? Omelette de fromage. Vous voulez coucher au vet moi? Yeah? Anyway. I totally didn't see the draft at all because of you guys trying to teach me French. Oh, first one belongs to the Lima. I think Cash, he lost to Oliver, but he still has two strong damage dealer here. Shane is definitely in a lot. Oh, Lima's learning from Segment. She got reset by Segment so much last game, she became Segment. Juno also learning from Lima. Thank God Volantis actually do anything. Unbelievable. It's not looking... Double stun from the Molong with the glancing debuff. And this Masha also missed the defense break. Oh my god, things are looking really, 
really sussy in this match. Things are not landing at all. Huh. What is going on? All right, Dominic's going to go for the Molong here, doing some insane damage. Just look at the Molong. Molong is like dead. <laughs> Almost dead. If the Lima Violent Pro, I think the game might be over. Might. Just kidding. No Violent Pro. So the... Oh, the Pra doesn't have the chance to, to heal, but the Shizuka has a chance to stun. Right? Shizuka can stun the entire enemy team here. Oh, that's a huge ass stun right there. Molon doesn't have the damage though. Can only skill one, unfortunately. Actually going in with the damage because, hey, who cares? Because Pra is moving, right? Good plan. Dominic's gone. Big damage is gone. Shen actually might be winning here. Wait, Shen is actually winning this one. Catch is losing it. Everyone is stunned up. Nobody's moving. And this Juno is doing some massive damage. And the Lima is going to go down very, very soon. Oh. It's... Oh, ho, ho, ho. I like... I like what I see. Wow. So many misses. And turn out, Shen got the... Got the better run here. And GG. Molong went in recklessly. But it paid out well because no more Dominic on the field. And that's pretty much it, guys. GG. Shizuka. With the AoE control. Absolutely crazy. And he's done. Wow. Shen is going to move on to meet Ismu in the next round. They used to be World Final. And now they have to eliminate one another. Oh, GG. Dude, the first thing was so awkward. Everyone missed everything. <laughs> oh my god. The first one was so weird. Everyone just went in and missed so many things. But uh, Shizuka didn't miss anything. Shizuka just land the perfect reverse stun on the entire enemy team. See, no segment on the field and everyone trying to be segment, missing everything. Alright guys, I think we're going to have a break, but before that, we might have a code. I think we might have a code very, very soon. I'm not exactly sure, but we might be. And then we're going to go for like a 10 minute break and we're going to come back with the final matches of today. Should be. Alright, so we have the loser round two to see who will be the four amazing gamers proceeding to the final europe cup i think they're all gonna be best of five so this is gonna be a little bit tiring because <laughs> imagine all of them going to game five i'm just gonna cry dude that's gonna be so long okay I don't want to turn on their audio because last time I did, some of the audio was actually copyrighted because of the music they use. So I'm going to mute all the EU stream, all the America stream to be safe, okay? I don't want to get a random email in the morning saying that my channel just received a copyright notice. Not funny. I don't like that. Oh my god! Wow! Summoners or X Cookie Run Kingdom, August 29th, coming soon! Schedule my change. Oh my god! Guys! We're getting a collaboration! It is Cookie Run Kingdom! Let's go! Dude! This is crazy! Holy shit! Oh my god! You gotta be kidding me, bro! It is actually Cookie Run Kingdom! Oh my god, my mind is blown, wow! Look at Killer, he's like, he can't even hide the excitement. He's so stoked right now. <laughs> oh my god, he's so stoked right now, look at him, yeah? I'm so hyped, let's go! 
Oh, it's gonna be our new code. 100 energy and 1000 mana stone. SWC3 Tage Wark. I have no idea what that means, but hey, type in the code, guys. It's gonna be a quick code for you guys. Cookie Meta is in his way. Dude, I, we, we're going to be so, so loving it. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, you will be loving it. Finger licking good, Cookie. Okay? And uh, we should be going for our break here. And we'll see you guys back in eight minutes. All right, what do we do? I kind of want to go for a break as well. To be honest. Kind of want to go for a break. I don't have RTA for you guys because I love Summoner's War so much. I accidentally used all my RTA wings already. So we can only play RTA in the noob room. What do we do? Load up Cookie Run Kingdom. Oh my God. You read my mind, brother. How do you know that's my favorite game? I literally can't play anything else but Cookie Run Kingdom. It is actually my favorite game in the entire world. Okay. Oh my God. What am I fighting here? What am I fighting? Why don't I join SBUC? Dude. My runes compared to SWC Gamer are like Fighter 3. Okay? <laughs> I showed them my rune and they spit on me. They're like, look at you peasant. You know? You think I can join SWC with my pathetic rune? Bruh. Go and buy 20,000 20, more rehab pack and we can talk about SWC, okay? That's what I was told. So um, I'm just a commentator, bro. Sag. But good enough. I like it. I was just getting ginger brave. Exactly. Exacto. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Cookie Run Kingdom. I'm so ready for this, guys. Wow. Where's the code link for iOS? Look at the chat of the official stream. Should be somewhere in there. Somebody probably got it. Stun. This game suck. <laughs> uh, oh my god, Dominic one-shotting Marsha turn one. What a classic moment. Ouch. Holy shit, he did so much damage. Oh my god. That was way too much damage, guys. How's this guy so slow? Oh my god, he's actually kind of slow here. What if the light demon just one shot my Dominic right here? It might happen. Oh my god, that stun. Ah, uh, uh, holy shit, he did so much damage. I gotta kill him. Rip Dominic. Wait, I might lose him. Because I missed the Wusa turn one. Unbelievable. We're gonna lose because of that. Can I stun this guy? I can't land anything. <laughs> this game suck, guys. Oh my god. We are not doing anything to him at all. Ever. Can I kill? Can I push back attack bar? Oh, we did. Hell yeah. Still might lose here though. Ah. This gonna hurt. The light demon hits so hard. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Finish him. Do we have a chance? No! I need to stop this Wusa, guys. I need to stop this Wusa. Hey. Uh oh. Oh no, he's gonna buff. I can't escape that. He is going to buff, guys. What can I do? I can't do anything. And he's killed as Juno. And he's killed as Juno. 
No. Ah, it hurts. Stop. Ah. Oh, that's good. I think 1v1, my, my mouse will win. Come on, stun. I cannot land anything. Come on. Ah, that hurts so much. And he violent proc too. Uh-oh. Can I stun finally? Finally, we can stun. And we're good. Alright, the break should be three more minutes. I'm gonna go grab some water. And I'll be right back with you guys, okay? Gonna go grab some water. You should grab some water too. It's gonna be a long four matches left. Maybe maybe it's gonna be five game each. Holy shit, it's gonna be 20 matches. We're gonna cry. Mm-mm. All right, I'm going to go get some water and I'll be right back after that. I'll need some fun music. How about we go for dance music? Yeah. All right, are we ready for the final qualifier EU games? Hi guys, yes, boss looking at me. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna make a, a, a layout so that I can be in there with them too. One day, okay, one day. I like this game, but sucking a lot of time. True. <laughs> Who here watched my channel without playing the game at all? Like, 
you stop playing altogether. You, you just don't play anymore, but you're like, I kind of want some summoners in my life. So I'm just going to turn on a random Shambi video and be like, listen to me rambling for like five minutes. And you know what? I still hate summoners. So I move on and watch somebody else. <laughs> Probably. Probably a lot of you guys are like that. You play Cookie Run Kingdom? Sheesh. Don't tell me about it, dude. Wait, first play in Europe Cup, you get $10,000? That's not so bad. Three years, no summoners. What are, what are you doing here? You are almost free from, from, from this torture. Go and be free, guys. You came back for free summon? Oh my god, you need to come back now for Cookie Run Kingdom. You quit two years ago? Oh my god. No, dude, go away. It's okay. You need to be free and happy. Don't be like me, dude. <laughs> Don't be like me. Be free and happy, guys. You deserve it, okay? All right, first matchup between Sinip and Guts. Who's going to be the fourth, I mean, fifth EU qualifier? Let's find out. Very, very soon. I think it's going to be best of five. Don't be like Sean B, free, happy, and wealthy. Bruh. You think you think I'm free? I am trapped here, guys. It's 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 a dungeon. Summoner Sword is just a big dungeon. We're all trapped here. We pretend to be happy, and we lose money every time we spend in packs. <laughs> ah, we never leave. I said all that and we have three new subscriber. Unbelievable, but hello. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome to the stream, guys. What what is Guts LD Nat 5? He doesn't have any? Interesting. Hmm. I keep pulling you back. Oh no! I need to make shit video, guys. Not like my video is not shit already. So that you guys can actually run away and be free. Is Kiki? Doesn't seem that like he's enjoying the unit. Kiki, Rissu, Van Cliff, and Cracker. All right, understandable. <laughs> understandable. Kiki is not bad, but I think he needs something else with Kiki to make it really good. See? The enemy is not even pre-banning any of Guts LD Nat 5. That's how you know all of them would not be using RTA. How many view German viewer? We have a lot of German viewer. Hey, Moi Meister. Any any Moi Meister in the chat? Guts gonna start off with a Praha. Surprising! A Praha first pick? Not Dom, not Shizuka, not Masha. Very interesting. All right, we have Masha on the other side. Shizuka getting picked up as well. So Guts might be going for Juno Praha here. And maybe a Changpeng or Dominic. It's going to be Vanessa. Huh. And Mo Long. Wow, Guts seems very different. I like that. And there's the Changpeng, there's the Nana. So it has two Reviver to counter the Molong already. So Guts in a lot of trouble here. Nobody picked Wind Demon, huh? Like even as a counter pick, nobody has Wind Demon. Like Wind Demon is looking kind of okay right now, to be honest. 
Will Guts go with a Wind Demon here? Or is he going to go with something else? No more Oliver for him, unfortunately. He's going to go with Boverk. So he's focusing on one-shotting and the Sarion. So is he banning Shizuka or Changpeng? Interesting. What is Sinip going to do? I think our Shiho is really good right now. If he picked up a Shiho, it's just incredible against Guts right now. Annabelle's good too. Annabelle's great. Not bad, not bad. We have Annabelle last pick from Sinib right here. It's going to be an incredible unit against Guts. It heals without using any buff. Very good against Boverk. Very good into a team without immunity. So in EU, Annabelle is a very popular monster. I never see Annabelle in APAC. <laughs> so I think it's going to be Annabelle ban. No, it's going to be Nana ban. It's going to be Praha ban. So it's going to be a tough game for, for Guts, I think. It's not going to be easy for him. All right. First turn belongs to Bover. Going to go for the damage on Shizuka. The sound moving next. Oblivion ready for the Masha as well. Wait. Might be able to one-shot the Masha. Might be able to one-shot the Masha with the Molong follow-up here. Is he going to go for the defense break? He is going to go for the defense break. Get the Oblivion as well with the Masha Violent Proc though. The Masha Vi might Violent Proc here. No Violent Proc, which means the Molong is going to go for the kill. On to the Shizuka, actually. So the Masha might go down to the fire unit on the other side. But no, I think Annabelle is going to save the Masha. Changpeng ready with a skill 3. Going to go for the skill 2, actually. And the Annabelle is not going to cleanse the Masha, but let the Masha be at low HP. Not sure if that's a good idea, but the slow is allowing Changpeng to move. No, Vanessa's going to drop the Masha down. And the sound is going to crit, but not finishing off the Masha here. Changpeng finally has a chance to push back everybody. Gets the Violent proc too, but this Vanessa... No, Anima is going to cleanse the Masha, so Vanessa cannot finish the Masha. And the Masha is going to do a lot of damage in human form, missing the defense break because of the glancing debuff. This Changpeng is doing a lot of work, and Annabelle is as well. But no proccing from Annabelle here. This Desarion is going to do some damage on the Masha, not enough. But with the Violent Prop, maybe missing the crit due to the glancing debuff. And Masha's trying to finish off the Vanessa, but Vanessa very tanky. Taking down the Masha, putting defense break and violent proccing, doing even more damage on this Cheng Peng. Cheng Peng is in a lot of trouble right now. Can he violent? He is gonna violent and push down everyone attack by killing two units at the same time. Annabelle might get a sleep proc here. No, resisted from the Boverk. But Annabelle is really strong right now, like extremely strong in the situation. And with the defense break, Annabelle is gonna do even more damage on the enemy with a slow debuff too. Is he gonna? No, I would not save Changpeng. Changpeng has done all he could. And right now, Annabelle should focus on doing as much damage as she can Bova healing every single turn just a little bit but trying his best to keep the team alive for Annabelle is she gonna be enough to kill the enemy team? This Tessara looking kinda saucy Annabelle is not sleeping not procking any sleep at all and is losing HP every single turn this Tessara might be doing some work here big crit on the Annabelle has to heal need to have need to land the defense break later on this is sound not going to land the defense break. Bova is doing a bit of damage every single turn. This Annabelle. This is the deciding moment. Landing the defense break. Getting the violent proc. Landing the sleep. No sleep from Annabelle still. And this sound is doing so much damage on this Annabelle. Annabelle got to heal once again. She need to do that damage on the Tessarion. Taking away the Tessarion is going to be the win. Here's the sleep proc from the Annabelle. Going for the damage on the Bova. Has the skill 3 ready once again. And here's the skill 3. She needs to violent proc into the sleep. Because this Tessaron could crit any time. Landing the defense break is going to be very crucial. And here is the defense break. Oh my god. Annabelle is right now very vulnerable to big damage. She has to go for the heal here. And Tessaron still putting so much pressure on this Annabelle. 
Oh no, because of the speed lead, this the sound is way faster than the Annabelle. She needs to land a slow debuff once again. She's taking a lot of heat. She's at the moment where she can die any moment right here. And the Sarion is actually gonna bring the win for guts. Oh my god, this Annabelle was not proccing like how she should be. And that the sound is gonna do enough damage to bring her down. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. This Annabelle is not livered Annabelle. She slept like one time. <laughs> she probably more violent than sleep. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys. All right, we're going to game two. I didn't really see if it's best of five, but I assume it is best of five because it's the final game to decide whether they're going to be in EU Cup or not. So they're probably not going to leave it to a best of three situation, but rather go for a best of five. All right, second game between Sinip and Guts. Gonna be Oliver Juno pre ban here. Sinip getting the first pick. Let's see what he's going for. I'm streaming APAC Cup tomorrow in like 14 hours. First pick Shizuka for Sinip. Will Guts go for the same setup with Vanessa Praha once again, or will he switch it up with something else? Excited for the cookie collab? Of course, dude. I'm so excited. Oh my god. You can't even tell how excited I am. Yeah? It's so hidden. You can't tell. It's like somewhere down there. Gone. <laughs> Gut's gonna take the Marsha and the Praha. Ooh. Finally not using Vanessa, but using the, the meta fire unit instead. So what is Sinip going to do? He's going to go for the Volantis here for the strip. And the Tomoe. Oh, it's going to be scary. Double on Miyagi. This combo was doing a lot of work last game. Will it work this time? So Gut's going to go for the Vanessa Annabelle. Oh, he's actually going to go for the Annabelle. Didn't work really well for Sinip last time, but Guts believe that this time it's going to work well. Here's the Herney, the four-star Annabelle. Also have heal cleanse and defense break, but she also have the Oblivion. And the Shiho last pick against Guts. That Shiho is very, very strong because Guts only have one stripper and potentially getting banned away as well. And that Shiho is going to be a nightmare to deal with. And here's the Bover last pick. Not sure if the Bover is going to be the best thing. But there are many buff on Sinet team. So I think Bover is okay. But I think some other Bruiser would be a little bit better. So Shield getting banned out because he's too strong in this position. And Pra getting banned out as well. All right, guys, first turn belongs to the Annabelle. That Annabelle is extremely fast. Okay. And the Bova is really fast as well. Which one's going to take the hit here? It is going to be Shizuka. Everyone on Guts team is really, really fast. He has the better speed lead, but his unit are really, really fast. He is the Volantis, landing the glancing on everybody. Provoking Annabelle, very important as well. Will Tomoe go for the debuff spread? Gonna try to go for the Karma on Vanessa, but didn't get it done. And here's opportunity for the Oblivion onto the Marsha. Not looking good. And the defense break and Oblivion can spread to the entire team as well with Tomoe and Shizuka. And here is the AoE debuff. And this is gonna take a lot of attack bar and... This Tomo is controlling really well, but Sinip's lacking a bit of damage. Can this do enough damage? It did some decent amount of damage, but he needs to take down this, this 
both Vanessa and Marsha quickly because the Annabelle is moving very, very soon and there's no way to stop her. If Annabelle managed to heal, then everything that Cinep has done would be meaningless. Can he, she stun Annabelle? No, gonna go for the kill on the Marsha, but Marsha is gonna get revived by the Vanessa. Vanessa's skill is no longer a passive. It's actually a skill with cooldown and you can activate it. So the Oblivion didn't work on the Vanessa. In the past, it would, but now it did. It doesn't. So, after all that, Cinep didn't manage to kill the Marsha f entirely. And Marsha is now going to do the payback. Big damage on Shizuka. Shizuka is going to go down to the Vanessa. Not looking good for Cinep right here. I think Guts got the game in his palm right now. A lot of debuff on Cinep team. And the Marsha Vanessa is going to do a whole lot more damage follow up after that. Oblivion on the Masha once again. But the Vanessa revive will be back very, very soon. So the Masha is not going to die easily, but will come back when the Vanessa passive is ready. I mean, not passive, skill 3 is ready. Annabelle is going crazy with the sleep and the heal as well. Once again, Guts team is healthy because of Annabelle. So it's really, really hard to, to control and debuff this team when Annabelle is on the field. Honeybee friend. Missed the debuff on the Masha. Not looking really good. Masha might finish off the Tomoe. Not having the skill 2. Could not finish the Tomoe. But the Vanessa is doing decent damage on Tomoe. And Sinib doesn't have any healing anymore. Uh oh. Not looking too good for Sinib. But right now the control is great. Sinib needs to oblive in the Masha. And he gets it done. It's the Violent Proc as well. The heal might be back very, very soon. But Vanessa has the revive ready now. Here comes the Tomoe looking for the kill. Gonna go for the skill 3. Get a lot of attack bars. Stunning 2 unit as well. But cannot finish this Masha. Is she gonna go for the finishing move? She is gonna go for the finishing move. Because right now Valanta is gonna follow up with a stun on the Masha maybe. Oh, he couldn't get the stun and Bova's going to be ready with the heal. Not a big heal, but good enough to keep the Masha alive to finish off the Tomoe. No, going to go straight for Volantis here. Going to be a little bit more greedy, but but it paid off. And I think that is pretty much it. I don't think these two units will be enough to bring down four unit over there. And I think that's it. And I think that's it, guys. The Annavelle was doing so much to protect the team as well as keeping Sinner team under slow debuff. And that is very important. Wow, wow, wow. Annavelle going absolutely crazy. And goodbye to Tomoe. The last one standing, Herney. I don't think it's going to be enough. Hello, Rosie. Dude, this fast Annavelle is actually really, really scary. Sinner thought that he had the game in the bag when he put out so much debuff. But realistically, it was just delaying the the inevitable Annabelle clutching in between. So we're moving on to game three. Tough, man. Tough. You need a win unit to control Annabelle. If there's no Oliver or Changpeng, Annabelle is way too strong of a unit. And that Annabelle is really well run as well. Very, very fast rune. Tanky. Alright, we're moving on to game 3. Guts has this one in the bag already. He's halfway there. No, I think this is best of 5. So it's going to be one more game. I think. There's no way this one is best of 3, right? I don't believe so. It should be best of 5. Hello, Lucas. Yeah, not banning Annabelle was not good. But letting the Praha through, he banned the Praha. Maybe letting the Praha through was a better play. Here's the Oliver and the Volantis pre ban. First pick for Guts. Is he going to take the Marsha this time because it worked really well in his team? 
Yo, John, you've been a member for 31 months? Holy shit. You're a member even though I don't stream. That's crazy. Thank you so much. And Luna becoming a gamer as well. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, guts take the Shizuka this time. What is Synap gonna do here? Losing the Shizuka to Guts. He's gonna go with Dominic. Does he have a Praha to steal? Or is he going for... It's gonna go for the Riley. So Guts gonna go for the Masha. Maybe a Bover. It's not too bad. Against the Riley. And he is the Bovo for Guts. So Cinep is in a little bit of trouble here. I'm not too sure what is his water unit available for this. No, he's going to go for some light unit instead. He's going to go for the Tableau and the Narasha. Very, very scary damage team coming out from Cinep right here. Which means Guts is going to go for a Leo to counter the speed from Tableau and Narasha. But what is going to be the last bit? Because I think Leo is going to get banned. Maybe he's gonna go for Ooh, Nana, but then he has no damage. It's gonna be Tessarion for Guts. Not bad. Landing to Oblivion on Dominic and Nasha and this game will be over. He is the Ken because he planned to leave the Leo through. That is probably a very heavy damage can with no speed. So Guts, he let your Leo stay. You have to ban the Riley maybe? Oh my god, this is actually kind of scary. Does he ban Ken? Does he let the Leo stay? I don't know. But picking Ken means you don't let the Leo. He's banning Dominic and he's Synapse banning Shizuka. So this can is going to be... A scary, scary unit, okay? Oh boy, this can is going to do so much damage. I can feel it already. It's going to take the Masha off the field very, very quickly here. Watch. It's going to be a scary can. I can feel it already. I think that's in trouble. A lot of trouble. Attack buff for the can is going to be unstoppable. Unless the Masha and the Thessarion band together and get a lucky proc to kill the Ken. But with immunity, I think that's impossible now. And the defense back is going to... I think Nasha can push back attack bar as well, right? And that's going to mess up Guts' team order. Oh, missed the Masha! Wait. This might be crucial because the... Because the... The Bova can, can have the Ken HP and the Masha can potentially one-shot the Ken. Oh, the glancing, the glancing, and the defense break. That Tessarion is gone. That Tessarion is definitely gone. There's no way, unless the Masha get really lucky. Nope. Gonna, gonna let the can move. Gonna take the hit and choose to kill the Tableau instead. Cannot finish the Tableau too. Here's the can. Look at the damage. Oh my god, that was 60,000 damage. And he's gonna lose the title one for one. But this can hit so hard, it does so much damage. It's gonna be a big trouble because Nasha is crazy with Riley attack buff. Not looking good for the team right here. Nasha's following up. Big damage on the Leo. Here's the Bover trying to heal the Leo. Look at this can, very tanky as well. There's no way this Masha can kill the can without defense break. It try, it try so hard, but cannot go so far. It's gonna be bad, guys. The moment can get another turn, Sinip got this game in the bag. There's no way, unless he messed up somehow, and he's not gonna mess up. Not gonna touch the Leo anymore because ignore defense can be scary here. Okay, the Leo is trying to kill the Ken. Can the Masha get it done? He needs to do it. The Ken is going to go down and the Masha get an additional turn. Is Gut going to win this game? Will Nasha bring this back? This Nasha has to finish off 
cannot finish up the Leo and the Leo is in ignore defense range. But the Bova is going to be sure and heal the Leo first. Oh no, this Nasha is in trouble because she doesn't have protection like Masha. So defense break is going to be on the Nasha here. A lot of damage will be done by the Leo and the Masha back to back. There's no way to save this Nasha anymore. Nasha is going to go down and Guts is going to be the first today to get the EU Regional Cup ticket. Congratulations, 3-0. Congratulations. Oh my god, he managed to kill the Ken. That was so lucky because the Ken could have easily killed Leo and Masha at the same time. Unfortunate. Ah, feels bad. Feels bad for Synep. He got 3-0 by Guts. That was rough, man. That was actually very rough. GG. Oh my god, Finson. Thank you so much for being a gamer. Appreciate that, man. All right, guys, it's going to be the next semi-final game soon. So sit back, relax, and we're going to start the next one really, really soon. So Guts going to be the first today to get that ticket. Poor Synap, he wanted to do, but he couldn't pass the next big boss. So Rax, he managed to pass the mid boss Niu. Will he be able to defeat the final boss, Vili? For the EU Cup in front of him. Hello, Timbo. I got double viewer. No, no, I don't have. I don't have uh, equivalent viewer to the English cast for SBUC on YouTube. I think they got like way more, which is good. <laughs> which is okay. All right, guys, Vili and Rax. This is going to be scary, guys. This is going to be scary for Rax. Vili is a very strong player. I'm pretty sure Rax is a little bit worried about this. Or maybe he's not. He fights Vili all the time. Maybe he doesn't give a shit. So how about Cookie Run Kingdom? Where you mean the best game ever existed on the internet? The best collaboration choice for someone on Soul Sky Arena? And remember guys, next week they're going to launch Summoners of Chronicles in Korea. Oh my god, I can't wait. Wow, they both use a lot of Tableau. They both like to run speed team. Wait, where's everybody? <laughs> Yo, I'm finally in the middle, guys. Yo. Yo, Killer, how you doing? I got you, bro. Killer, how you doing, man? It's great. Yeah, great matches. Yes, yes, I agree too, Killer. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Poor guy, why is he alone? <laughs> Poor guy. He's just alone up there. Alright, first game between Rax and Vili. Dude, Vili's still fighter 3. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's still fighter 3. Alright, Rax gonna go for the Dominic first pick. No more Oliver, no more Nasha. What is Vili plan here? Molong Masha, very similar to the previous round, to be honest. Very similar. So what is Rax's spawn? Is he going to go for like a more Chengpeng? Or is he going to go for like a slower team? Is he going to go for the Praha? 
And what else? Shizuka? Oh, actually, Shizuka. All right, so it's going to be Shizuka Praha for Rax. What is Vili plan? What would I do? Maybe a Changpang and a stripper? Or is he going to go for like Jamaya Tablo? <laughs> Maybe. Jamaya Tablo would be. No way. No way. Oberon Tablo. Oh my god, that's so scary. Yo, he can very well last pick Jamaya. I'm not kidding. Jamaya last pick right now is actually really, really good. So, Rax, what's, be what's going to be your response? Will you go for Nana? Abelio? Right? There's no other way. Vanessa, okay. Vanessa Nana? <laughs> so many revived. Vanessa Varad. Wow, Varad actually. Interesting. So what will Vili go for? What would he go for like uh Jemaya or would he go for a stripper here? Can I beat that F3 player? Dude, he'll beat my ass any day. With one eye closed, okay? What is it going to be? It's going to be Mouse for Vili. So he's really... So he has to ban out the Vanessa if he plan to outspeed and one-shot something. And Rax, I think, is going to ban Tablo for sure. So that if he can strip with the... With the Verat and Pra combo, it's going to be great. All right, so let's see who outspeed who. This is literally just who outspeed who, okay? Uh-oh, it's going to be rough. It is definitely going to be rough here, guys. Who's going to outspeed? That's just the, the battle right now. Who? Mel's going to go first. He needs to stun the Praha. He went for the Dom, didn't really do anything. Bra's moving in between. Is she gonna go for the strip? Is she gonna go for the strip? She's gonna go for the strip. She get it done. No violent proc. Molong's moving, can he kill the Dominic? Maybe? No. No. He just did that. He went for the strip, but he didn't achieve anything. And he's gonna violent proc. Maybe kill the Dominic? He is going to kill the Dominic. Oh, and the Oberon move in front of the Varad. Unfortunate. But Shizuka can still revive the Varad for the freeze. Is she going to do it? Because there's no... He's going to do it. He's going to revive the Varad for the freeze. Get the freeze done. But the Masha is so fast. And can Rex still win this? It's really hard, but it might be doable. Might. Is he stopping the Masha here? He is going to stop the Masha. Put some dots. No debuff on the Masha to stop her. But the protection on Rax team is really strong right now. Here's the, another heal and speed buff for the Praha. Right? Here is the heal and the speed buff. Gets it done. And finish off the Molong potentially. Molong's going to go down. Looking like Rax still in the game, guys. A lot of protection here. And the Praha damage is not bad. And the Oberon is probably going to go down very soon. Revive the Varad again. Varad revive. Skill 2 ready for the freeze. Get the freeze on the mouse. Very important right there. So Oberon is going to go down to the Praha. And this Masha cannot kill these two water units easily. Oberon is going to survive. But what does it mean? It means nothing. Oh my god, Rax, even though he got one shot right off the bat, he's still in the game, guys. He's not giving up just yet. He still got it, but the mouse is going to take down the Shizuka. Not quite yet. The heal for the Pra is going to save the Shizuka right here. Shizuka still in the game, and the mouse sleeping cannot finish off the Shizuka. Oh, that strip. Shizuka, my violent proc here. Will she revive the Varad? She revived the Varad. Varad has the skill 3 ready because of the skill 2. The, of Shizuka can reduce cooldown and freeze the Masha. Here's the Praha trying to bring down the Masha maybe. Masha's taking a lot of hit. And this gonna... Oh my god, so much debuff. And the Praha is now buffed with speed. She's doing so much more damage. 
but the mouse one violent proc can kill something and not no 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 chance for you to move here mouse oh my god the mouse still moving but cannot do damage to shizuka though Oh, he's hopeless. Shizuka is still protected. Can revive the Varad again. Varad is ready again for another round freeze. He gets the freeze on two unit. Oh my god. Shizuka Praha is so strong. They're unstoppable. Oh my god. These two girls alone destroy four enemy unit. That is crazy. The mouse cannot get it done. He's taking so many hits. Revive the Varad again. Revive the Dominic. Finally, Dominic get to move one turn to finish off the mouse. Well done. Wow. Shizuka Praha. Absolutely terrifying to fight against. That was crazy. The dragon was dead, but he was never gone. He was always there. Oh my god. <gasps> Shizuka Varad is absolutely crazy. God damn. We thought that Rax was over, but he was never done. He lost two units, but he, he didn't lose his fighting spirit. He still got the, the power of friendship with Shizuka, bringing back the friends every single turn. And now we're moving on to the next game. Man, Rax might be able to go to EU Cup after all. Maybe. But Vili might be stepping up. It's still only 1-0. There's still many more games to go. Alright, what's going to be the pre-ban here? Is it going to be Tableau? Shizuka? I think it has to be some sort of Shizuka ban, right? Maybe Shizuka Dominic or Shizuka... Shizuka Praha? <laughs> Would that actually happen? It's gonna be Oberon and more. Wow, I didn't see that coming. So, Vili first pick. Is he gonna pick Shizuka? Or... Is he going to go for Shizuka? Oh, he's going with Dominic. Rex is going to go with uh, Oliver Molong. Ooh, interesting. But now Vili has Tableau Narsha. It's a very scary combo. But is he, is he going to use it? He's going for Karno? So he's going to go for Wusa here. So Rex. Huh. Interesting. So Rex has an option to go for AoE control if he wants to. But no more Water Ryu to strip. Is he still going to go for that? Or is he going to go for Shizuka Masha? He's going to go for Praha here. And Chang Pang. He's going for the control team. So, Vili, are you going to go for Tableau Nasha? It's going to go for Nasha. He needs a speed lead, though. If not, he's just going to get control easily. Or maybe a Diana. But I think it's a bit too late for Diana here. There are a lot of Diana controller on Rax team. It's going to be a Rika. Ooh. So, Rax can actually go for a Juno last pick. Maybe. But he doesn't have to. He can still go with more control. <laughs> like a Poseidon even. You know? But then you have to rely on Changpeng's ship, which is kind of bad. He's going to go for a Tableau last pick here. So, two speed lead. He's taking first turn. He has strip available. So he's probably betting out either Karno or Rika here. It's going to be Karno Ban taking away the HP lead. But Vili still has another HP lead, <laughs> unfortunately. So Rax has to depend on the Chengpeng strip, which is kind of shit. But it might be God tier. Who knows? Molong's going to go first. Wait, Molong actually start with a strip, maybe. 
get one strip that's good enough oh he missed the rika the most important one but molong is ready to kill the rika if tablo get the turn Tablo's gonna get the turn here. So Molong's gonna one shot Rika, Changpeng, and all of us can control the rest of them. Rax is winning this game. If I'm not wrong, he is winning this game. Oh my god. Rika's gonna go down to the additional damage from the Changpeng. And uh, all of us gonna control everyone else right now. Oh, he missed the pushback. That is key. Because right now, the, the Dominic Nasha can actually kill the Oliver. Oliver got slow debuff. Very important. Unless this Changpeng push back the attack bar of the Dominic here. He need to get it done. He did get it done. He pushed back the attack bar. There's a chance for the Tableau to actually stun the Dominic to stop it from killing. Take away the skill too as well. Tableau going in. Alright guys, this game over. Rex got it. <laughs> Rax got it. His team were just... I, I I think he just drafted well. And it's done. And he speed tuned well as well. The Molong going first was very important. Molong going in front of everyone else. Very, very important. If the Molong was slower, he wouldn't have won. But because of the Molong going first to damage the Rika, allowing the Tableau to, to give Molong turn to kill the Rika was very important. That speed tuning... That drafting, very clean. Yeah, very, very clean. I think Rex got this. If he keep drafting like this, I think he got it. It's done. Poor Billy. I think Rex figured him out. He got it. All right, we'll be going for the last game, potentially, between Rax and Vili. Who did I vote for? I don't even remember, to be honest. Alright guys, Oliver Nasha pre ban Once again, Rex getting the first pick. He's probably gonna go for Dominic here. Oh, Shizuka. It's gonna go for Dominic. And it's gonna be Shizuka and Masha on Vili's team. But that team didn't do him really well because he went in with too many raw damage dealer. He's gonna go with Molong this time for the first pick. So Rax can still go with Praha Changpeng and is looking really solid against Vili. It's going to go for Tablo and Praha, taking a Tablo away from Vili. They are both heavy Tablo user. So having Tablo on your team is very good right now. He can still go with Changpeng and Shizuka if he wants to. So Vili is going to steal the Varad away from Rax. But I think at this point, picking the Varan in the middle and being too water heavy is a weakness right now. I'm not sure if that's a good move. So it's going to be Varan Jemaya. Jemaya counter Changpeng. That's not too bad. But being very water heavy against a Dominic first pick is not exactly a good plan, I would say. But he still has last pick. So, so maybe that's okay. So what is Rax going to do? Is he still going to go for the Chung Pung? He's going with more Chung Pung. So he's locking in his control com to get it with Dominic for damage. So Vili seeing this. Oh, this is tough for him, man. Really, really tough. I think Jemaya is going to get banned here. And his last pick needs to bring in a lot of value. And... Oh, no. That unit is either dying or getting reset. I think Vili will probably ban the Changpeng and Rax has to ban out the Jemire maybe or the Shizuka. 
maybe Benny Ashizuka so he can kill and that unit who get killed will stay dead. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be Shizuka ban. It's gonna be Changpeng ban. Rax has the damage, but Vili, can Vili survive this? Oh my God, it's gonna be tough. Because Tab if Tabo land the stun, it's over immediately. Okay, so the goal right now for Rax is to kill the Jamaya and then to stun the rest of the enemy team. Or maybe just kill the Asima, and call it a day. Strip. Missed the Asima, but he has two stripper, so it's totally okay. Look at the speed tuning on Rax team is so tight. Holy shit, the speed tuning is crazy. Two stun! And Asima is not gonna go down just yet, but Tablo will give you another chance to go. Don't worry about it. Oh no, the damage is just it's just hard. This is probably gonna go for a sleep onto the Jamaya. Get the sleep done. And, and that is just... He needs a Violent proc. Some Violent proc right here is very important. Which one? None of them. <laughs> None of them. Oh my god. <laughs> he needed something to save his team. And none of them Violent proc. Tablo? Two stun. And a proc. Jamaya maybe give it a chance. Maybe. But the, the, the Virat is dead because the Dominic is moving. And the Mora is moving as well. And the dragon is gone. Rax. GG, well done. I think I, I think he just outdrafted. He he just figured out Vili. Very well done. Oh my god, look at this. Alright, I don't I don't like this music actually. But wow. I I, I think Rax just outdrafted entirely. He got strip, he got damage, he got control. He got everything. Well done. I, I think it was really well done. So, Vili Journey in FUC will have to unfortunately stop here. And Rex will be moving on to the EU Regional Cup. Wow. He just figured out Vili. Out drafted completely. 3 0. Well done. R Rex just well done, yeah? <laughs> GG. I mean, Tablo is such a cool unit. Speed lead, another turn. Synergize really well with Changpang, Dominic Praha. Provide damage, control. It's just awesome. I wonder if we're going to have a break after this. Alright, Rax is going to be the second qualifier for today. We still have two more couple to go. Look at that. 3-0-3-0. Three, zero, three, zero. Holy shit. So next gonna be Yanzalot and Glorious. And after that will be Shen and Ismu. Is it normal to have so imbalanced matches? I mean, if if the Rex figure out Vili, he did his homework, he know exactly what Vili use, what kind of speed he has, then it's like just applying the the plan. Execution. It's clean. And the the kind of team that Rex go for. Didn't we allow Vili to get, take a lot of turn? So you can't even luck sack because you don't even take turn to proc. So, so I think it's not really like unfair or imbalanced. It's just Rax was more well prepared and he executed his plan calmly. Well done. Just, just good. Yeah. It's not like, oh my god, this guy is so lucky. He's lucky three matches in a row. You know? Alright. We're going to go for an eight minute break. And we're going to have the last two couple dance for us to see. It's going to be a great dance between these two. 
So right now we're back with more farming. Oh my god, who would have thought? More farming, guys. Is Say qualified? He is qualified. He's qualified already, actually. Better keep those scroll for the collab. Dude, I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to pull so many new cookies. Yeah? Like now, we literally can say to Stranger to play Summoner so because we have cookies. <laughs> guys, come over here. We have delicious cookies. Are you guys ready? For some cookies. Oh, one more scroll here. Hell yeah, dude. All right, what do we have here? I think I need to... I need to do some artifact thing. Because it's getting full. Gotta start selling some of these. Oh, it's a wrong order. I want HP main stat for that. Ah, oh, that's not... Like, skill and recovery is for those units like Riley, Nora, but then the rest of the, the substat are like shit. Who is a support that can leech, let do damage and leech HP? There's none of them, right? Oh, lap. All right, I need to do that. What? Why do I get max roll here? Unbelievable. Wait, do I have unit rune for lap? I don't even know. Huh? This thing happened like every turn? That's crazy. Wait, what are we doing here? Oh, we need to open this guy, right? I don't know if I have unit rune for lab, though. Oh, shit. Do I have the unit rune? This vert is not moving, actually. This one might be moving. Why is the music so chill? I'm falling asleep with the music. Wait, I can order this, right? I think. You you're dealing with this too? <laughs> oh my god! No! Alright, this is do a lot of damage. Dude, I swear to God, free music is so bad. <laughs> it's so hard to find a good playlist that I can keep playing on stream. I swear. Oh. Is this gonna be okay? I guess this is fine. Are we done with this one? No, not yet. Oh my god. The death is gonna kill me, guys. Oh, oh, okay. Thanks for the violent prop. Oh my god, he's so tanky. Uh oh. Does Gianna have the strip? Gianna? Do you have the strip? Come on. Yes, thank you. Oh my god, that was back. No and no, Alex. <laughs> yeah, this is good eleva elevator music. Great lab content, guys. Oh, my God. 
It's crazy. Facebook login is like the worst. I don't want to log into your Facebook. I don't want to log out of my Facebook. <laughs> like, you think I remember my own Facebook password? No, I don't. Hello. Do you remember your Facebook password, guys? Do you even have Facebook? That's the big question. All right, we need to do mini boss, right? I don't have team for these though. That's the problem. Is this gonna... I mean, it might work. <laughs> it might. And to kill this though. We can only win if we kill... Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Ah, that hurts so much. Heal, you dumbass. <laughs> oh my god. Heal. Do you know good siege defense with Sylvia? Uh Sylvia Lima Kinky is pretty good. I I lose to that thing all the time. Oh my god, no 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 I hate it. I keep forgetting to target. It needs to be a setting for me to target that thing. Okay? Why do we not have that any in this game? Target this thing. Manual laugh content, guys. Incredible. You have Kinky on Lima. Then you can use Praha and Theomas. Or Juno and Theomas. But Juno doesn't heal, though. Maybe Praha and Dominic. You need something that has good skill one. Oh, wait. Dominic doesn't do damage when, when he gets team up, right? You need good skill one units. So Theomas and like something. Or like Thessarion and Praha, you know? But you need strong skill one unit, that's about it. Do I have kids already? No! Hell no! I can't even take care of myself, let alone more of me. <laughs> uh oh, we didn't kill the tower. He's gonna hurt. Ah, oh, we can't debuff him. Still did good damage though. Alright, the last two matches for EU is gonna happen really, really soon. We won more of that Dark Panda thing, guys. That was so much fun. Yeah, that was really exciting. I like that. Wait. Yes, I need to do SWC. <laughs> We're gonna be away from from this. I'm gonna run away from my responsibility. It said marker three. Where the hell is that? I don't see anything. Oh, this one. I see it now. Alright, the cup is not starting yet. I can still do one more stage. What all summoners of streamer I missed the most? Uh probably just YDCB. There was a guy who I watch a lot called Proc Ready Gaming. He was so chill. He's like, he's high all the time, I think. <laughs> and then he went on vacation and he's like gone. He's like, adios. And then he came back for a little bit and he's gone again. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Oh, no, 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 no. Am I dying? Ah, no, 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 no. All right, let me try to finish this labby stage, guys. Don't worry. I'll be here with you guys. Oh my god, my team is dead. Uh oh, my team is really dead now. Uh 
Oh no. All right, gotta change team. I used the wrong team, no wonder. All right, guys, now we're going to have Glory and Yanzalot. Are you guys ready to see who is going to be moving on? While I'm trying to finish this labby stage that I'm stuck in. I'm almost out of it, guys. Almost out of it. This is so hard. This labby stage is so hard. No. Ooh, big stun. You think Glory is going to win? Dude, Glory has so many LD5. I think Glory has it. This might be Glory's game. Alright guys, we should be starting really, really soon. So sit back, relax, and get yourself a nice cup of water. Maybe a cup of, cup of tea. Because we are, we are watching EU matches. Maybe a baguette and some sausages as well. Put a plate of pasta ready for you guys. And we are ready. Yeah. All right, here we go. It is going to be between Yanzalot and Glorious. What is going to be the pre ban here? Maybe we're going to see a Tian Lang. No, it's going to be Oliver Marsha. Finally, we are going to get a match without these two units in EU. It's going to be exciting, guys. Oh my God. Going to be super exciting. Let's see. Yanzalot first pick is going to be Water Ryu. Oh, they are both trying to go for turn one. Glory is going to go for the Shan and the Chung Pung. They are both going for turn one. And Yanzo is going to go for Juno and Keetian Dasheng. Two stripper locking in. One follow-up unit already. What is Glory going to do? Is he going to go for a Chiwu? He does have a Hunsa ready. So he is going to be faster for sure. And here is the Wunsa for Glory. Oh, that's going to be Cigar, but that is the Dark Painter. What is his name again? Another strip? No, just kidding. It's going to be Esher. <laughs> it is going to be Esher and Cigar. Cigar is really good right now against Glory. Glory need a speed leader can strip as well. It has to be a Chi Wu, right? Or else he's gonna get outsped and lose. What is gonna be Glory last pick here? It's gonna be Douglas. He's accepting that he's gonna get outsped. So if you ban the Woods at the outspeed, Glory is gonna solo you with Douglas because he's gonna ban the Water Ryu. If you ban the Douglas, you might lose in the speed battle. What is Yan's a lot option here? I think Glory won. <laughs> I think Glory won. Unless, unless this Asher outspeed the Wunsa, which is very unlikely because Wunsa has higher base speed. And Glory probably put his best Swift set on Wunsa as well. So I think Glory won this game. That last pick, Douglas. Outdrafted Yanz a lot already. And the Wounds attack first start. Unless he missed both, which is very unlikely. He got the strip. <gasps> the Asher actually cut in between, but it was not enough. Oh my god. The Asher actually cut in between, but not enough. And the Chengfeng still got a turn. The stun from the Shan and the Chengfeng also reset the skill. But Will Yanzalot come back with Juno? Defense break on the Cigar and the Escher as well. Cigar's gonna go down to the Shan. Escher has no skill available. Juno finally start to move here. 
What if the monkey violent proc and has skill ready? Very unlikely. So more debuff on the entire enemy team. And Shan has a skill 3 ready as well. Immunity protect against the monkey violent proc. Oh, this is going to be hard, guys. This is going to be hard. I don't think Yanzalot has what it takes. Lori outdrafted him with the Douglas last pick right there. And the Shan just does way too much damage. The only one that's going to fight is Juno. And at some point, Shan's going to kill Juno. Unless right now she stunned everyone. Two stun. Oh, no, wait. If the monkey violent. Oh, the monkey violent Brock. No way. No way. It's over. The monkey violent proc saved the day for Yanzalot. Oh, that is such a crucial violent proc, guys. Oh, the chunk punk also violent proc. But I think it's a little bit too late, though. And he eat the stun from the Juno. Yeah, it's a little bit too late for chunk punk to save the day. One violent proc for the Keetian Dasheng, and the game is turned around immediately. Damn. <laughs> what, el what else can I say? Just, goddamn. Pretty much. Pretty much. One, he banned the Juno. If he let the Water Ryu through, he would get, he would get outsped and lose. All right. One Violent Pro and Yanzalot turn the game around against Glory and take the W. Very scary unit on Violent, guys. Just very scary unit. Wow, I thought Glory checkmate Yanzalot. He got the team. He got the right drafted. He got the damage, but he wasn't fortunate enough to kill the monkey and he had to go for the kill on the cigar instead. If he managed to kill the monkey earlier, then I think it could have been a little bit different. Unfortunate, guys. Unfortunate. If the monkey didn't violent proc right there, I, I think Glory could have won. So first game to Yanzalot, taking the lead. The Escher cut in between, though. That was kind of cool. Escher was on Nemesis, right? Was it? Was the Escher on Nemesis? So what's going to be the pre-ban here for both flyer? Is it going to be Wunsa and Water Ryu? No, Wunsa and Shi Tian Da Sheng. It won last game, so it's got to be pre-ban. Oh, wait, it's going to be Oliver pre-ban once again. Everyone hates Oliver. <laughs> Everyone hates Oliver. So Glory, first pick, what is it going to be? It is going to be Masha this time. So will Yanzala will continue with the Water Ryu team? He is going to go with the Water Ryu and Karno this time. So Glory, are you going for turn two? Or will you still go for turn one here? He has Tian Lang, right? He might go for turn two, like a Tian Lang Shizuka situation. He'll still continue with the Shan actually. So Shan Shizuka, I think Chang Pang is coming right up. Cigar, no, 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 not Chang Pang. We don't play with that unit here. We're gonna be Cigar and Esho once again, contesting speed. I like that fast game, and just more predictable as well, rather than slow game. So Glory's gonna go with the Wunsa and maybe. No, no Douglas this time because Yanzalot has the last pick here. So it can't take Douglas. He's gonna go for Ciara. He's still gonna go with the speed lead. But if you ban the Wunsa, then Gori has no stripper. Huh. It's definitely gonna be a Wunsa ban here. And Yanzalot has two follow-up unit that is very strong as well. I think Yanzalot has this one in the back, maybe. 
But the thing about Carno and Cigar is that they don't have big damage. So if the Shizuka Violent Proc, it might be scary. First one belongs to Asher. Gonna go for the boost. And here is the strip from the pro from the Juno. And oh, he missed the reset on the Shizuka. That's very important. But the damage from this Carno almost taking out the Ciara. Ciara's gonna go down to the Juno. Oh my god, this damage is insane. Keeping the def wait, he didn't defense break anyone else. He could have defense back somebody. No violent proc from a Shizuka. Can Shan? Shan didn't violent proc as well. The Shizuka's in a lot of trouble here. Missed the provoke on a Shizuka. He saved it for this moment, but he missed it. The Cardo missed the provoke as well. Shizuka has the opportunity to bring this game back. But the Juno's ready. The Juno with a speed buff. She's going to heal all the damage from, from all the debuff from Shizuka. Will the Shan get a turn in front of the Juno? The Shan is going to move in front of the Juno. This is very important right here. He needs to kill the Juno. He's not going to kill the Juno. Wait, but the Juno is going to get killed by the Masha, actually. But what if the Juno move? He can revive the Ciara, maybe, but Ciara cannot kill Juno. He didn't kill Juno. Oh, the Masha. Can the Masha? The Masha finished the Juno. Oh my god, glory. He survived with one HP on the Shizuka. And he's turning the game back. Shan is going to finish off the... Oh my god. Wow. He risked it. If the Juno actually moved, the Juno could have won the game on her own. Wow, the comeback from the Shizuka resisting both the Provoke from the Yanzalot. That was so huge. Oh my god. Shizuka, if she got provoked by Yanzalot actually not greed and play safe, save the good Provoke skill to provoke the Shizuka after she she was done being provoked that turn but she resisted oh my god wow 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 poor Yanzalot he actually had a plan with the skill 2 from Cigar but but Shizuka luck was just big <laughs> way too big oh my god I think he got a good plan I, li I liked it I liked the way of thinking right there but he wasn't lucky enough. Damn, he didn't use the cigar skill too because he wanted to save the good provoke for, for the turn after that. Alright. No no more 3 0, guys. No more 3 0. So what's gonna be the pre-ban here? Is it gonna be Oliver pre-ban every single game? Did they did they promise to pre-ban Oliver all the way? So we don't have to see Oliver again. Oh, it's going to be Juno Shizuka. So if you lose to a unit, you pre-ban it next game immediately. That's gonna be the plan here. No more Shizuka, no more Juno, which mean Oliver first pick. <laughs> Here's Glory returning the favor with the Masha. But what's gonna be going with the Masha? Is it gonna be Water Ryu? Which one is it going to be for Glory? It's gonna be Shan. Damn, Glory really like his Shan. So Yanza is going to go with double speed lead control com. Glory has the wound set to contest for speed. And the Douglas last pick on his table right now. Going to take the Chang Pang away from Yanza a lot. Is he going to do that? I think Yanza probably has like a Charlotte ready as well. Going to be Savannah. Ooh. So Yanza need to pick it away that... 
he cannot get countered by one single Douglas last pick. He's the Colonel and the Mook Wall. So Glory has the Douglas last pick ready. Oh, he switched the Savannah out for the Chang Pang. Is he gonna go for the Douglas last pick? And ban the Water Ryu? It's gonna be a Fran. Oh, he won. Wait, that's not gonna be a Fran. It's, he has so many counters for Water Ryu. And it is going to be Hey Gang. So it's gonna be Hey Gang ban. It's gonna be Mook War ban. Wow. Interestingly enough, it's gonna be Mook War ban. Oh shit. I kicked my monitor. Almost died. All right. So first one belongs to the Wunsa. Oh, you don't need speed lead to outspeed when you're so fast. I don't think it's going to be possible. Yanzala is going to be controlled by the Chengpeng and the Masha. But the Shan get dispersed. Some was very unfortunate. But the Shan is still violent proc. Is the Masha going for the kill? Cannot get anything done. And the Shan didn't violent proc. The Karno is going to be ready with a skill 3. That's not looking good, guys. The Shan need to move. The Shan gets stunned once again. No, that's not looking good. And the monkey get out of the control by violent proccing. Karno has the skill ready. It's not looking good. Masha is getting focused right now. Oh, no. It's not looking good, guys. Shan's not getting any violent proc here. Constantly getting controlled by Yanzalot. He's a damage. He's trying to bring down Karno. But is it going to be enough? Shan getting stunned once again. And soon he'll get reset as well. So his violent prowess could be meaningless after this. Karno still skill 3 available. Going to drop the heat on the entire enemy team. And his Masha is going to lose the beast soon as well. She has one last opportunity to go for skill 2 here. And he's going to take out the Oliver. But the Water Ryu is going to be here to stop the Masha from moving any further. Drop her from the Beast. Changpeng has no skill available. Shan has no skill available. So this Karno is going to be very, very scary here. Oh my god. The Karno is going to shake off the slow debuff as well. How can Glory bring this Karno down? And we still have the Kitian Dasheng available as well. Not looking good, guys. Not looking good. The Kitian Dasheng has the skill ready in a in a turn. And the Masha is probably gonna get controlled by the Water Ryu. Attack broken. Oh, no, he can't take a turn. And now he's gonna push back the Chengpeng attack bar. Destroy the Chengpeng entirely. And the monkey has skill 3 ready. GG. That Shan stun by the Water Ryu was crucial to this victory by Yanzalot. And that's it. GG. Wow. That one stun changed the game, guys. Without Shan, Glory was in shambles immediately. Glory takes the, the third win. He need another one to move on. Can he get it? Can he get the next W to qualify for the EU Regional Cup? I don't think he. I think I mean you equip the spares rune for one of you for one reason, right? <laughs> so he's stunned one unit. That was probably expected, to be honest. The comeback for the first game, though, that was really lucky. Where he, where he, violent proc with the light monkey king. That was crazy. Mm. But hey, the thing is, you can get lucky one game, and then get lucky the next game. So, who's the real enemy? What is the real problem? All right. Monkey and Shan finally pre banning the Shan. So, Glory has no more Shan available. What will he first pick? He's still going to go with the Masha. 
So Jens is going to go for the turn one team still. He's not giving up. He's locking out his team. Glory still has the Wunsa available. Jens a lot. He know he cannot outspeed. Will he draft differently this time? Finally, whip out the Tian Lang. Back up our LD Nat 5 instead of Shan. So Jens is still going to go with the Juno. Still going to go with attack by increasing unit. Still going to go with the usual control comp. Glory is going to... Oh, finally using a Molly. Maybe last pick another healer, potentially. Is he going to go for a Douglas last pick? He's going to go for an Annavale last pick to counter the Colonel. That's not bad. So Gansel need to have a very strong last pick control. And he's going to go for the Cigar. Is he pre... Is he banning the Molly or the Tian Lang? Because he has the Annabelle locked out with two win unit. Which one is it going to be? It's going to be the Masha. Oh, he's landing through two healers. His Carnal is going to be... It's going to be countered by Annabelle. I, I think Annabelle is going to win this game. It's going to be the Annabelle win. I can feel it. I can feel the Annabelle energy here. Or maybe he's going to get Despair Stun first turn. No Despair Stun. Juno's going to go for the strip. Missed the Chung Pung. Oh, ho, 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 ho. not good. Stun the Molly, though. Very important. But right now, the Tian Lang's going to go and stun everybody else after this. Get the reset on Annabelle. Chung Pung's going to move. Going to reset everyone in front of him. I think Glory got this, guys. I think Glory got this. Tian Lang and Molly. I don't think Yanzalot has the control for these two units here. Not gonna go for the AoE. Gonna defense break first to do more damage. He knows it's gonna violent proc. What a gamer. And I'm going in for the damage as well, but not trying to get the sleep proc, but just focusing the damage onto the Oliver. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think Yanzalot has the control. He, he just doesn't have the hard control. That he should have against the Molly Annavale combo. Yeah. It, it's just not good enough. He needs to ban either Molly or Annavale. He let both healers through. And he, he paid the price immediately. He cannot kill anything. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The like the control the control comp Yanza went for is good if enemy doesn't have any healer. But the moment there's a there's a Molly, there's an Annavale on the field, it become a, a whole different story. I'll draft this game. For sure. Yeah, it, it, it's just hard. He he can't. There's just way too much healing. Way way too much RNG for the for this kind of control to happen. So we don't know who is moving on just yet. We are going for a game five. It's going to be a close one here, guys. It's going to be a close one. What is what are they talking about? Why is he laughing so much? Probably Cookie Run. Dude, I think they told Killer that the collaboration is with Cookie Run Kingdom. That's why he's like, yes, that's my favorite game. Yeah, they they probably talking about Cookie Run Kingdom, guys. Pretty much. Pretty much. What else can they be talking about? Look at the face of Killer. So happy, dude. He had Cookie Run Kingdom and he's like, incredible. Look at him. See? He's so happy right now. <laughs> Collaboration with his favorite game. All right, we're waiting for game five to happen. I hope it's not a delay. I hope so. I know the game existed. I just never play it because I don't know. I, I don't feel like playing with cookies, you know? Food is food is there to, to be eaten, not play with. <laughs> That's what my Asian mother told me. Don't play with your food. Eat them.
All right, first pick. Oh, this time he's not going to go with the speed pick anymore. He's taking the Masha away because the Water Ryu get banned. Interesting. So Glory is going to go in with the speed lead and the Sean. Oh, not looking good for Yans a lot here. No, I, I think he's he's walking to a to a lost position. To a losing position right there. Glory, he got to turn one. And he got the Wunsa. It's impossible to outspeed. And he just to control Yanzalot well. And he got it done. Yeah, I, I, I think I think Yanzalot is, is actually throwing right now. Oh no, he's actually throwing. Glory just have to pick a strong water unit last pick. And he's good to go. Virat, Teor, Poseidon. There's so many of them. And he can completely win this game. Wait, he need another stripper actually. Because if Wunsa get banned, what's he stripping then? It's gonna be a Chang Pang. That's the strip right there. And I think Glory can win if he doesn't get too unlucky. But I think Glory is in a winning position here. Right? He has all the control that he need. How unlucky can a man be? He got the strip done. Oh, if the She-Ho move in front of the Shan, that'd be so amazing. And now it's gonna shut down the Masha as well, maybe? Here's the Oliver. Resetting... I would reset the Juno right now. Oh, no, 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 I'm resetting the monkey. I'm resetting the monkey right now. No way. He's going to proc. The monkey's going to proc. Oh, no, no. No, Glory. What are you doing? What are you doing, Glory? Oh, the monkey didn't proc. And never mind. Just kidding. The monkey didn't proc. He, he saved his Oliver by resetting the Masha. Lucky him. <laughs> okay, the monkey now got reset it. And the stun. Miss all the stun. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, 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 the cigar is moving. He strip, he land the provoke. Uh oh. Oh, Yanzalot, he's actually winning this. The monkey, the monkey still didn't get the violent proc. Not look. Oh, the missed crit. Not looking good for Glory, though. Not looking good at all because the Chung Pung is gonna die to the Masha and the Juno's looking really strong here. Wait, he got all the attack bar. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. He's gonna take the attack bar from the from the Oliver. Might die to the Shando. Might die to the Shando. Not yet. And now she's gonna finish the the Chung Pung maybe. Get the Chung Pung out of the way. Oh, oh get the violent proc. And doing a lot of damage to the Shan as well. The monkey need to violent to carry this. The monkey's gonna get the violent this time. The blue monkey showing the light monkey who's the real boss. But can he? Oh, he only got one stun. And the Juno get the stun on the Shan. And the monkey get provoked. I think it's over. I think it's over. Glory is leaving this game. He, I thought he was winning. But no. But no. <laughs> Yanzalot's going to take this game. 3-2 GG. And he's going to be the third qualified EU gamer in the EU Regional Cup and Glory SWC journey has to stop here, unfortunately. JJ. Damn. If only the Shiho was faster than the Oliver. I mean, the Shiho was faster than the Shan. Right? Why did Shan move in front of Shiho? He couldn't stun the Masha. Oh no. Right? He couldn't strip the Masha for the stun. Un unfortunate, guys. Ah, oh, he has to he has to reset the Masha. He could have reset the monkey. He had to spend that reset on the Masha. It was not very ideal. <laughs> the green screen of the green screen of of <laughs> of killer just fading in and out. Uh, every time he's like he's moved too much the green skin just kind of move in appeared alright anyway 
that was the third duo. We are moving on to the last match of the day, guys. The very last match is going to be between Shen and Ismu. I wonder who's going to be the crowd favorite. Is it Shen or is it Ismu? So Ismo was last year World Final Gamer. He's no pushover. Shen is a veteran SWC gamer as well. Both have a lot of experience. Both have been around for a very, very long time. So it's going to be the bad of the Giants here. Yeah. And I can also finally go to sleep. It's 10 p.m. I kind of want to go and and sleep right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. APAC was like three hours. EU is going to be like... EU has been three hours as well. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> and then... The... The APAC is going to happen again tomorrow morning when I wake up. Whew. Last one's happening soon, guys. Happening really, really soon. Is America this or next week? Uh, next week, I think. All right. First game between Ismu and Shen is about to happen. What is going to be the pre ban here? Is it Rakdor and Pontos? It's going to be Oliver Nana. Ooh. Interesting. Nana pre ban for Ismu. Is he going for like a Dominic Pontos Masha first three pick? Probably. He's going to go for Molong, taking it away from Shen. So Shen's going to go for the Sagmat, potentially to shut down the Molong skill immediately, right off the bat. But what is his next pick, though? He did not prepare for the Molong first pick. It's going to be Sagara. Ooh, that's also another strong unit against Molong. So is we're going to go for the Juno here. Very strong against both Sagmat and Sagar. And a Dominic for big damage. So Isma is going to set up, but Shen know that there's going to be a Pontos coming at the end. So is going to have speed lead and protection. And he took Juno away from Shen as well. Nice haircut. Thank you. He's going to take the Shizuka against a Juno though. And a win Monkey King? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So next going to be a Masha picked up by Ismu. And lastly, it's not going to be Pontos, but it's going to be Riley for the heal. What is Shen last bit going to be? It's going to be a Vegjet for healing, attack by boost. And also turn one advantage.
So what are Ismu gonna ban here? If I am Ismu, do I ban Shizuka? Or do I ban Wetjet? He's gonna ban the Wind Monkey King? Ismu Hiola getting banned, pretty much expected. But he banned the Wind Monkey King. That's so interesting. It was that threatening to Ismu. Wow. The draft of these two players are very bruiser heavy and strange as well. So let's see what's going to happen here. Sekma's going to go first. He need to reset the Molong. She need to land it. Will she land the reset? G going for the Masha though. Because Sagara is going to go for Molong, right? He land the reset too. Looking really good for Shen. But the problem is, Shen doesn't have a whole lot of damage. So I I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one for Shen here. His damage is not really big. So it's gonna take a while for him to kill anything. But Ismu doesn't have any real healer. So that's a big plus for Shen. So Dominic one Valen proc and destroy a unit. Is it gonna happen here too? Dominic looking to go in. Gonna go straight into the cigar. Didn't get the branding, but still did half HP of cigar. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the attack by Boost from the Wedge allowing the Shizuka to cut in between right there. But Juno's moving really soon with a strip, so it's gonna be scary. Juno get the turn. Is she gonna go for the strip though? She's not gonna go for the strip. Gonna go for skill one on cigar. Masha looking to finish off a cigar here potentially. Slow D, but very important. Here's another reset from Sekhmet. Probably gonna be landing that on the Masha. Giving Masha defense break is just not a good idea. No, gonna go for the Dominic to do damage. And that did a lot of damage on the Dominic. But Dominic's gonna finish the cigar first life. No violent proc here to finish off the cigar entirely. Is Shizuka gonna do it? Shizuka is going to do it. And so much debuff on the enemy team, but that's going to be a lot of healing for Juno as well. Focusing the damage onto the Dom. Dom's going to go down. Masha cannot finish the target because there's so protection on the cigar. Going to take it out first. No violent proc. And Shizuka can keep the soul protection on cigar once again as well. And that's going to be a lot of attack by boost from the wet chat too. So even though Shen doesn't have a whole lot of damage, he's still taking out unit slowly one by one. Is it going to be enough? So got to try and do some damage here. Decent damage on the Molong, not bad with the Violent Proc as well. But the Marsha and the Juno is going to finish off this Cigar right now. I'm pretty sure Cigar is going to go down here. So he lose a lot of damage. No gonna change the target to the wet jet. Interestingly enough, not finishing off the obvious target. So what is Juno gonna do? Juno is gonna focus on the wet jet as well. Both of them are trying to focus on this wet jet here. Interesting. So guys, now the target for the damage again. This was not finishing off anyone completely. And he's living. He's just leaving him out. With a little bit of HP left. Maybe right now. Finally, the cigar is going to go down. So, reviving the cigar. Resetting the Molong potentially. Going to reset the Molong. But now Shen doesn't have damage. Now is the problem that I mentioned. Shen doesn't have a whole lot of damage. And it's really hard to kill Juno if you don't have a lot of damage. Especially when you have a segment that heals Juno consistently like this. But the thing is, Wedge can heal a little bit every single turn, I think. So if the Wedge go down, it's going to be really, really bad. And Molon's probably going to take down the Wedge here. So Wedge is going to go down. 
Shen's losing all his damage. He has two support unit left. And it is going to be a nightmare to deal with a Juno like this. Yeah, I, I think I think Ismu got this game. I'm pretty sure. How to kill Juno? There's just no way to kill Juno. And every turn segment will just feed Juno at the end of the day. And that's pretty much it. Ismu going to take the first game. Slowly but surely. Yeah, there's just, there's just no way. Ismu taking the first game, guys. It was a slow game. I think I think it's gonna be a slow last couple game here. Because that's their that's their playstyle, right? Man, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for Shen. How's my day? I woke up, get ready for APAC casting, went to the gym, make a quick video about a collab and got really depressed. And we're back with EU casting. And I can't even talk properly because I'm kind of tired. <laughs> kind of tired, guys. Not gonna lie. Oh. Yeah, the collab is just strange. I go to the gym. Yeah, it's been I've been going for like a month and a half now. Five kg down so far, feeling pretty good. Five kg is like ten pounds, right? Ten pounds down. Hoping to lose another ten. I'm so fat, unbelievable. <laughs> so fat, guys. All right, Rakdo and Dominic Preban here. Molong first pick. Molong is like their their favorite unit for these two player. I'm not, bro. Have you been to Vietnam? Everything, he, everyone here is like skinny. <laughs> I'm, I'm like I'm like that guy, you know. I'm like that chubby guy in every single situation. Work, school, hangout, everything. <laughs> I'm like that guy, yeah? Okay, Shen's gonna pick up the Juno to counter the Shizuka. Ismo first pick two water unit. Interesting. It's the Masha. That's pretty good against Juno and the Cigar that just got drafted. But they're just kind of counter picking right now. Oh, here's the strong Oliver. That's not looking good. Shen's picking up that Artemia learning a thing or two from the APAC Cup earlier. But will he go? No, no Ragdoll for him. He kind of need like a cleanser, I think. Kinda. Maybe an Annabelle? No, it's gonna go for immunity. That's gonna be the Wusa. So Ismu have the option to go for another stripper for the last pick here. Does he have one available? Or is he gonna go for like the Wusa band pick up maybe Icarus, some sort of big one-shot damage? He's gonna go for the mouse, not bad. So I think it is going to be Atamiya or Juno band here. Because he has the strip for the Oliver. I think Shen... I, Shen is like in a lot of trouble right now. There's so many things that he has to ban. It's gonna be the Praha ban. It's gonna be a Molong ban. So Ismu has the speed lead into Oliver. Looking pretty good actually. Looking pretty good. Wow, is Ismo going to go for 3-0 now? Starting off with the mouse, stripping the Wusa probably. No, going to go for the 
cigar and missed the strip, unfortunately. Uh oh, that's not looking good. <laughs> oh my god, he got stunned too. Oh, that is definitely not looking good for Ismu. That's such a bad start. Is the Shizuka speed into the Oliver to strip? Uh oh. So I think he has to go for the. He really wants to take that cigar immediately, but now I think he can't do that anymore. Gonna go for the Juno here. Nope, Shizuka is not fast enough to strip. So he has to go for the reset onto the Artemio. So what is Shizuka planning to do here? He's gonna go for it too. Stun the Artemio and did not stun the Juno, but that's gonna be okay. The important thing is that's gonna be speed buff for the Masha. But can the Masha do enough damage? I think the mouse has to violent proc here. But Sagar's gonna stop whatever mouse trying to do, I think. Or is he gonna reset Oliver? Here's Sagar turn. He's probably gonna go for either Mouse or Shizuka. He's going for Shizuka. Get the reset, get the provoke as well. Juno back to being healthy. Has the strip ready. Landing dot stunning Oliver. Oh no, Ismo's in a lot of trouble right now. Even with the violent part from Oliver, the immunity is gonna destroy his viability in this game. Uh oh. That's not looking good. That's not looking good. Mr. Provoke. Maybe Mao's gonna finish off the Juno here with the Violent Proc. No Violent Proc, Masha. No Violent Proc as well. Juno's still alive and healthy and doing a lot of work on the enemy team at the same time. But probably gonna go down to the Mouse this turn though. There's nobody to stop unless the Wooster get a quick two turn sleep on the Mouse. Maybe? Auto Violent Proc to heal? Or to shield? Which one's gonna happen? Who's looking for a target to two turn sleep right here? Didn't get the two turn sleep, didn't get the Violent Proc. And the Juno is finally going to go down. And this Sagar is getting control. The Wusa is getting control. Ooh, didn't get the reset on the Wusa. Which means the shield is happening. Not looking good. Not looking good. But Ismo actually brought down one target first before Shen can kill anyone. Here's some big damage on the Sagar. Not looking good for Shen right there. Even though... The Wusa resisted the, the reset, so the immunity will go up. But Mouse is just doing so much damage right now. Here's the Mouse getting another turn here. Will he stun the Wusa? Or go for damage on the Cigar? Gonna go for the damage on the Cigar. And the Shizuka, what is she gonna do? Will she protect the Masha? She will protect the Masha. Oh, Sagar get a very crucial violent proc here for the defense break onto the mouse. But he's looking like he might go down to the Masha if the Masha get lucky. Oh, if Masha go for the damage onto the Cigar, she could have killed a Cigar. And the, oh my god! <coughs> the 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 Artemio strip and kill the Masha with the sword protection. But Sagar is finally going to go down. Mouse is going to go down to the Artamiel very, very soon. Oh, that was such a clean kill from the Artamiel. Oh my god. And Oliver cannot do anything because of the immunity on the enemy unit. Oh, the Shizuka stripping the immunity away from the Wusa. Here's the revive. But is that going to do anything important? Not exactly, but right now it's the opportunity for the for the Oliver to control this Wusa. He needs to not crit because this Artemio is gonna stun with so much damage coming out from Artemio right here. Shen still had a very good chance to win. This Oliver needs to not crit or else he's gonna die. He needs to control this Wusa. Meanwhile, not critting. And he's critting too much and he's getting punished by the Artemio. Not looking good, guys. All this amount of buff, is it going to be enough to keep this Oliver alive? Uh-oh. The Shizuka though. The support from the Shizuka is getting a little bit crazy. Damage from the Masha. But the Artemio has the heal ready to save the Wusa. This Oliver, he's going to crit sooner or later. He's going to die to the Artemio sooner or later. Because he's hitting a water unit. 
Is he changing target to the Artamiel? No, it's gonna crit. The Wusa is gonna pay the price. Boom! No! The Artamiel missed the crit! That was so important! Because right now the Shizuka and the Oliver can control the Artamiel. Less chance to crit because he's hitting a, a light unit. The Artamiel need to get a lucky revenge here. But the the Shizuka is going to get the skill 3 very soon. And that will come with stun and defense break. Which is not really good. The Artamiel is in a lot of trouble. He needs to get a lucky revenge. But he's not going to get it. Shizuka is going to lock him down with the... Oh my god! And the Violent Pack to push back the attack bar. Not attack by pushback. Artamiel, can you revenge this Oliver? No, Oliver is not critting anymore because he's not hitting a water unit. Ismu is going to control this Artamiel forever. And he's going to get the two victory. He need another one. He need a third victory right here. So he can move on to the next EU Cup. Oh my god, Artamia was so close, but he missed that important crit to kill the Oliver, and he never moved again. Oh my god, poor Artamia. <laughs> that was so crucial. That moment, he could have crit, guys. He could have crit, mamma mia. Alright, what am I even talking about? What? He could have killed Oliver. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, man. Alright, we're going to game three. Might be the last game as well. I hope it's the last game, to be honest. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> oh my god. Best of five is so long, guys. And four of them in a row. Ugh. Not a huge fan, okay? Not a huge fan. Alright, last round. Is it Oliver? It has to be Oliver. It's not, it's not even using Pontos at all. Oliver Shizuka getting the pre band they deserve. It's more first pick. What is it going to be? Is it going to be Dominic? It's gonna be Mo Long. They love Mo Long. Shen's gonna go for. Wow, he's so passive. Ismu got this. I think Shen going into a passive mode like this. I I I think Ismu got this. Oh no. Shen's gonna go for the Wind Monkey King. Interesting. But is that really? Is that really the play? Okay, here's the segment to counter the Molong. Which segment is a bit RNG. Here's the Sarion to counter all the passive from Shen and the Riley to make sure the team's gonna stay alive. I think Esmu team is way better now. He got the damage, the counter pick, two healers. He's looking solid. Shen last week has to be really, really good here. It's gonna be Bover to counter the Riley. Not bad. Not bad. So I think he's banning the Tessarion here. And Ismo is probably banning the Na No, he's banning the Bover. And Shen banned the Dominic. So Ismo has a decent chance at winning this, I think. Because Tessarion is gonna counter so many things on the table right now. Unless the Tessarion gets really unlucky. All right, first turn for segment. Will she land? Will she land her reset? Big question mark, guys. Big question mark. She got it done. Congratulations. But there's no cleansing on Shen team. That's the big problem. Uh oh, that's a very good start for the for the Praha speed buff for the team. Sleeping the enemy unit. Praha is gonna get cleansed by the Riley, so no problem because of the sleep. Looking good for, for Ismu. He needs to oblive in the Nana and go for the quick kill. I think. Immunity? Follow up with a violent proc. Attack buff and speed buff. 
not looking good, guys. Not looking good for Shen. The sound's gonna hurt like a, a piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, pain in the ass. The sun's gonna be a real pain in the ass here. Quick oblivion on the. Oh my! God. He even got the defense break. You gotta be kidding me! Wait, he's killing this. He's not oblivion the Nana. He's killing this thing back to back. Oh my god! What if the sun crit right here? No way. Is he critting? Oh, he failed the crit, and he failed the oblivion too. <laughs> oh my god! And the Nana would. Nana's on violent. Ooh. Sussy. So better still have heal ready. Uh-oh. But with immunity, I think it's gonna be protected really, really well. And Abelio still have heal ready. But right now the sound can change the target and kill the monkey. Oh, that's a big violent. That's a fat damage to the pra prize getting. Oh my god, the monkey hits so hard. Uh oh, I think Ismo didn't didn't see this coming. I think Ismo didn't see the damage from the monkey coming. That monkey hit so hard. Oh my god, this Oh Christmas came early for Shen. It's not over yet. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, that monkey did so much damage on the Praha. Shen got this. I think Shen got this. <laughs> this random Christmas music just plays so funny. Wow. I I think Ismo made a mistake. He should have tried to believe in the Nana. He was so greedy. He thought he was going to kill the Abelio twice in a row. But he couldn't get it done. And the monkey was, was doing so much damage. That was so unpredictable by Shen. Big damage from the monkey. Who could have thought? Christmas came early for Shen. It's not over yet. We're going to a game four, potentially. Yeah, uh, it, it's just hard. How, how do you kill Shen? Kill Shen right now when the sounds cannot even move to, to put a believe on anyone. Oh my god, this Abelio. He survived. He came so far. He's not going down. Damn. Look at this monkey. It's gonna, it's gonna kill the Riley. Watch. The monkey's going all in. Oh, wait. The damage on Sekma is kind of crazy, too. Dude, the monkey did 20,000 damage? What kind of stat on this monkey? I want to see so much. Holy shit. This monkey. He hit so hard. Wow. That's just nasty, dude. That's just nasty. Okay, okay, it's not over yet. Huh. I guess I can't go to sleep yet, guys. <laughs> it's so long. Another match, guys. Another match. Not over yet, guys. Not over yet. We're still going strong, guys. Don't worry. We're still going strong. The code will be available after this one, though. After this. What did I do? Before you left to play Cookie Run Kingdom. I was doing chess earlier. So my tits kind of hurt now. Like, literally. Literally. Yeah? <laughs> it it, it kind of hurts. Kind of sore. Sore tits. Yeah? Ranked on Dominic Preban. Dude, they love Molong. Okay, these two gamers, they just mow long livers. Will Ismo go for the if Ismo pick the wind monkey, I'll just laugh so hard. <laughs> uh, I'll just laugh so hard. Ooh, Ismo switching it up with Oliver. 
Chen going for the Juno Pra that didn't really work well when he used it against somebody else earlier. So he's not gonna do it. He's gonna go for the Sacrament to counter the Oliver. Will Ismus switch it up and go for like a turn one team? He can still go for like, I would say, Praha Masha here. It's gonna go for Masha. Shen make it so hard to. Oh my god, I actually went with Masha Pra exactly of my recommendation. So if Ismo lose, my recommendation is shit, right? If I'm Shen, I'm in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble right now. Is Shen gonna go for the Atamio Usa again? No, it's gonna go for the monkey again. Maybe Nana? Atamiel monkey. Oh my god, he's out here full TOA hard mode. <laughs> I think Ismael has the Tessarion last pick. I'm very sure. He has to go for Tessarion. It's so good here. No way. <laughs> no. No! Why? Why not Tessarion? Do you not do TOA, Ismael? It is literally basic knowledge that you go to Sarion in this stage. What's up with the Wind Panda? Why Wind Panda? Huh? He literally used the Sarion last game. Why Wind Panda? The second one's so shit. <laughs> the second one's so bad. He missed it missed so many times. Missed all the damn time. Alright, maybe the wind panda's gonna win the game and fuck me, I guess. Here we go. Oh, starting off with daydream already. Land asleep on everybody as well. Wow, wow, wow. Look who's laughing now, Sean. Shut up. All right, Masha going for the kill. Big damage onto the Juno. How hard can this panda hit? Not a whole lot. <laughs> With defense break, he was doing like 3.5. Definitely not a whole lot. I wonder why panda. I I'm just so curious. I mean, Ismo's winning. So like, what do I know? <laughs> Ismo's winning. You know what? What do I know? Panda's the best unit, okay? Literally the best unit. Dude, he, he's controlling Shen so well with the Shizuka and Pra. So, so well. The moment he killed two units, Shen is done. Shen's pretty much done. Okay, trying to keep the segment in the game. Not so done yet. I want the panda to buff so that she's looking and buff revenge. That'd be so funny. <laughs> That'd be so, so funny. Oh my god. The, the, the pra still has the sleep ready and landing the sleep on everybody again. And I think that's pretty much it. He didn't even need the panda. The panda was just there doing some small damage. It's just Shizuka Praha, back to back control, and the 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 the, the, the Masha killing things one by one. <laughs> it's just Shizuka Praha being so good at controlling. So like the wind panda could be anything. <laughs> he didn't even buff the entire time. He just like I'm just gonna do some damage, bro. Dude, Shizuka Praha just so nuts. And that's it. That that that's pretty much it. Like later on the the 
the damage from these units will just kill the Artemio so easily. Dude, this press on some some high accuracy stuff too. Look at this. <laughs> it could be anything here that can do the same damage. I, I think Ismo just outdrafted here. And GG. Wow. Not exactly very exciting. But yay. <laughs> Dude, with the Saurion, the, the Shizuka can spread more Oblivion as well. That's going to be awesome. And that's it. Just a simple game. With Praha Shizuka dominating. And Ismus going to be the last qualifier for the EU, EU Regional Cup. GG. And that is pretty much it the last cut should be out soon and i can finally go and sleep i'm gonna update the timestamp for this tomorrow because i'm so sleepy right now <laughs> yo kevin thank you so much for being a gamer what time is 10 30 p.m prime time for a good sleep uh, APAC qualifier will be live in about 13, 14 hours. Okay. So the four gamers today will be Guts, Rax, Yanzalot, and Ismo. Ooh, we have two, two comeback from Rax and Yanzalot. Guts and Ismo got the easy victory right there. All right, all right. So that's EU for you guys. These will be the finalists in the EU Cup. We have Pink Roy, Obabo, Seishizo, Tembo, who are the first day winner. And now we have Guts, Rax, Yanzalot, and Ismu, who will be the second day winner. Who of these two will proceed in the final World Cup thing at the end? What do you guys think? Is it going to be Pink Roy, Seishizo? Or is it going to be newcomer like Raxus? Or is it going to be Ismu once again this year? Who is it going to be? They are all super strong player. But alright guys, that's pretty much it for today. They're going to review the code really, really soon. And we're going to call the stream. Oh my god! Another review? Sweet and brave ones are coming? Summoners or X Cookie Run Kingdom! Wow! <laughs> so crazy, guys! Oh my god! That's insane! Say wow, guys! Say wow! Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no way I didn't see this coming <laughs> alright guys two mystical scroll the last code is going to be SMUC 2022 CMI EUX guys you see this you see this two scroll it's going to be two cookie monster in there Two cookie monster for you guys right there. Hey, can you smash the like button before you go? That'd be amazing too. I much appreciate it. All right, guys, that is it for the EU qualifier. We are done. Next week, I think we have America qualifier and there are many more APAC qualifier and we're going to have the China qualifier soon as well, I think. You got Dom and Marshall from the code? No fucking way. 
Really, huh? Really. I think I'm gonna get that thing for you guys somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it for for today. They're just wrapping up, just saying bye, pretty much. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. Thank you so much for being here. I much appreciate it. I'm gonna go and take a good sleep because I'm hella tired. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. All right, guys. That is pretty much it for me for today. I hope you guys have a good time. Thank you so much for being here. And before you go, you can leave a like. That'd be amazing. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in about 12 hours for APAC qualifier group B day two. Okay. So if you are available and free, you can come hang out with me on the official group B day two APAC qualifier. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.